good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you're at in the world. I am coming to you live on Wednesday, January 6th. We are doing a live stream. We're going to do a little bit of drawing and doodling. Hello to all my friends popping in the room. Hello, ladies. And if there's any gents up there, I don't think there is. But if you are recording later, you want to fast forward about 10, 15 minutes. I'm still getting time for people to come in and chit chat. We catch up a little bit with all our friends. Love and hugs, everyone. Who do we have? Who do we have? Let me go back up to the top. Galena is here. My sissy pool. Christine. Chris. <laughs> Robin. Hi, Robin. Katrina is in the house. Let's see, who else do we have? Oh, my Pookie is here. Love, honey. And the little handies is here, too. <laughs> let's see got a good crowd going so far on a Wednesday let's see who else who else Juanita hi dear how are you Kathy welcome welcome to my live show gigs I love it's okay to be new hi Juan when if I'm uh, Miss uh, Scoobs, <laughs> this is the show for you, my friend. <laughs> if I say your name incorrectly, don't be afraid to correct me. I get mine wrong usually half the time. So uh, that's all good. Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> Thursday for you. Yep, I was just going to say, some people are around the world. We're not going to mention politics today, but I'm just going to say, because, you know, we don't po mention politics any day. OMG. Really? Those are the only two words I've got. Okay, now the politics discussion is over. Wine. Okay, welcome. We like new friends. <laughs> I do. <laughs> hello, hello. Loved everyone. Hugs and love to all my uh, wallflowers up there in the clouds. Loved you guys as well. And all those watching the recording. Uh, big uh, thumbs up and hugs to all my moderators here tonight. They will take good care of you. If I'm not listening, they will get my attention, or they may already have the answer for you. Um, they've been with me for many a time, many a days now. So, uh, and don't be, don't be shy. Speak up. We won't bite or come down from the clouds, uh, the wall. If you are a wallflower, um, we are going to do some stuff that may uh, require a lot of questions and answers so don't be shy to to ask questions no question is uh invalid or off limits well maybe some um deborah hi love <laughs> yes we do we have the best mods in the business right here right here folks oh give my give my my little girl hugs and kisses from, from auntie shauna I can't wait till the stupid COVID's over and come see you guys. See my baby. She's going to be grown by the time I get there. <laughs> They're right on cue. There's my girls. <laughs> uh, Jude's and uh, Gigs. Uh, A.K.A. Judy Wilson and able to rejoice our resident uh, <laughs> they're resident something but uh, they'll keep you laughing for sure <laughs> Marie hi dear how are those grandbabies of yours I know I know <laughs> spiders in the house <laughs> Oh, I'll be right back, guys. One second.
right, I am back. No, she's got Pettibon today. Her husband figured she wasn't busy, so he made her point. He, he made her point it today. <laughs> Bye, gigs. Love you. Be safe. Be good. Don't forget to bite the doctor for me. Well, you know what? I'll wait to get into that until we get more into it. I suppose. Make some notes for myself. Cheers, everyone. Uh, if it, all of those that are that have been with me for a while, um, you may not know, but um, Uniquely Robins here in chat um, set up a Facebook group, and I was invited by one of their members, and um, it's it's they do all kinds of art there, but. Um, I know a lot of the primary uh, focus is in, on journal, making journals and junk journals and that kind of thing. But we welcome you to come and join our family over there. Um, and Robin asked me to um, do a drawing and doodling stream. So, Uh oh, are you are you a professional professional drawer? Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> you know, like that. I'm just like because if you're a professional, then you probably be able to answer some more of the things that I may not. But feel free, anybody, if you know something or you have a. A tip that works for you as we go along and somebody asks a question by all means jump right in because I'm I'm novice I, 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 I do doodlings which are a cross between a, a doodle and a sketch and a drawing <laughs> um, but anyway uh, uniquely Robins on Facebook um, Oh, where is it? Uniquely Robbins and Friends on Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting used to the name. Uniquely Robbins and Friends uh, is the Facebook group. And her and her, uh, our following over there, um, has been invited for today's um, montage. So, you know, it's sure to be fun and probably boring for some of you. However, <laughs> uh, yeah, <clears throat> are there any initial questions, um, like, right off the bat? Not, like, you know, crazy, in-depth, long-winded, you know, kind of questions, but um, anything you want to know about my, my, my me, my my channel, um, the Facebook group that we're in, those kinds of questions. Um, I am going to draw some things, and I'm, but I'm going to show you guys uh, more and give you guys some pointers and references, and um, go into some books that are. Are there for you? Judy, no questions from you. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Judy is not allowed to ask questions because that'll get me in trouble and probably her too. However, um, no. Um, so it's going to, it's going to be, um, it's yes, absolutely. Marie. Um, and, and put in there. Um, if you want to join the Facebook, um, Neekly Robbins here. Uh, oh, there she is. <laughs> Um, just go uh, click join the Facebook group. It's called Uniquely Robins and Friends. And Uniquely Robins here is the gal that, that runs the, the shop over there. Um, and she'll, she and her moderators uh, will accept you eventually. Um, so if they don't get to it today, probably tomorrow, maybe next week. Who knows? However, um, no, they're a really good group of people. So far that I... I know it's relatively newer 
uh, Facebook. <laughs> the coffee tea time. <laughs> yes. Coffee. Gotta have coffee. You know, it's, it's, I run on coffee. Yeah. <laughs> So if there are any any initial questions off off that, but uh, I will get right into it. Um, no time like the present. No questions. Great. So um, first and foremost, I think it's important that I um, I say to you that um, I'm not an expert. Nope. I'm not experienced. Uh uh. Never took drawing in college. Nope. And I am self taught. So everything I know is all you're going to get. Um, <laughs> I am, it is 5 12 in the evening here uh, where I'm at. I'm uh, Central Standard Time. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely self-taught, and um, what I'm going to do today is share my uh, experience, kind of where I came from in terms of artistic-wise. Um, share some of the tips and tricks and, and tools that I use, um, reference books that I recommend, um, and some other things that will help you get started um, in in doodling, drawing, sketching. Um, doesn't I, I found that there really is no no name to picking up a pen or a pencil and putting it to paper. Everything you know involves a stencil. Well, then you 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 got one box check there. <laughs> coffee or tea, Robin? Coffee or tea? <laughs> Most of the crafters will. I have a. Oh, well, see, Kathy, it, you came to the right place. No, but serious, I, I have, um, the girls here can tell you, um, I've been around a while now. And there, hold on, here comes my son coming in. Do you need help with anything? No. Okay. Um, she just had her, you just, you taking notes already, Galena? Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, no, but uh, uh, all seriousness, um, so I, um, yes, I, I just recently joined, um, like a week or so ago, and I wanted to kind of get in there and kind of see how things were, and I knew it was a newer group, so I wanted to make sure I kind of got uh, kind of familiar with some of the gals in there and the, the, the matron uh, of it before I recommended the Facebook group so <laughs> um, but no um, so that's what we're gonna what, what you know I'm gonna share a little bit what I've learned I'm, I'm gonna get uh, we're gonna peruse some of my sketchbooks my my my, uh, my uh, some of the drawings I've done um, and I'm gonna do a little drawing here live uh, for you now and I, and I still hesitate to call it drawing because what I what I call doodling uh, or what I guess you'd call drawing I call doodling um, because I still feel that I'm very novice and um, and because I don't know a whole heck of a lot but there are some recommendations of channels here on YouTube that I can share with you to go to you know referrals <laughs> yes, <laughs> our pets always want to help <laughs> or get in the way, which whichever you want to call it, you know, we'll just call it what it is. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, a little bit of background on me. So I've been a mixed media artist now for let's see, seven years. And uh, I started out not, I mean, I, m before that, I, um, I did the scrapbooking thing for many years. 
I was always kind of crafty when I was a kid, but I never really took um, a serious interest in any kind of art other than how, when I got older and I went through the scrapbooking phase and um, then I, I went through the baking phase. And um, so regardless of me being, being always being creative, I never was creative on the um, art front. Uh, hold on, I'm getting some um, feedback that my, let me check the connection guys. Hold on one second. All right, I'm going to carry on. If uh, the sound cuts out, we'll know about it. I can, um, you know what, let me mute it for a second and turn it back on. department um the it department is telling me that there's <laughs> oh, yeah and if you get hair in your work we call that texture mm -hmm. yep um so yeah so that's a little bit of background uh where i where i had started from and um uh, well yeah I, I mean not that i have a whole lot of followers but um definitely uh you know I, I do a lot of mixed media as well as drawing as well as junk journaling I'm kind of uh, I've kind of grown a lot personally artistic wise in the past couple years um, and with that said um, every year I set a goal for myself I don't really you know um, I don't really have a word of the year or kind of follow all those you know uh, like inktobers and and all of that but i i do have a goal for myself every year and the goal for this year was to um develop more drawing because i have done some on my channel like i drew an octopus a year and a half ago two years ago um i've done a little bit of drawing uh, because of the art you know painting and stuff like that but i never would took a real deep dive into that and that was one of my goals that I set for myself last year for 2020 in December of 2019 and I did I never know how I'm going to get there but I, I always try to get there and with that said I let's start with um kind of books right so with that I had to I, I went out and I purchased well I purchased some books um and, and had some books but um so i knew that that's where i needed to start um one of the books that might help you if you like flowers is in bloom a step-by-step -step guide to drawing lush florals um this is a really good book to not only see what color and how they look in different shapes um, but it also gives you uh, guides to copy from, right? So this is a really good beginner guide, okay? So this is In Bloom by Rachel Reinhardt. Um, okay, Julie! Hi there! How are ya? The next book is 20 Ways to Draw a Tree. Now these are the, the the stuff in this book is um, kind of basically a, a starter, no no experience, I draw stick figure kind of people book. Um, and may you might be past that phase, and you may not be, but it does give you um, some places to draw. You know, so you're looking at what you're drawing and you're drawing it right. So this is another good book, and this the the. The detail in here is really kind of sketchy, doodly orientated. Um, how much are the books? Um, I got all these on Amazon. Um, so this one was probably, I don't know, it was less than 20 maybe, maybe t uh, less than 25. Um, this book was a giveaway, but I know it retails for um, uh, 20, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is probably going to come in maybe about, 12 15 mark maybe um like i said i got in a good in a giveaway and um i really didn't use it to be quite honest um but it would be a good book for beginners because it has that you know see and do kind of uh step up you know 
you know, and, and it, it, the form is very basic, right? You know, you're not having to get a lot of detail. It's just a lot of mark making to create the crosshatch, the dots, you know. So those are things that, you know, if you're just starting out, if you're kind of a doodler uh, in, in, in your, um, how far along you are, this would be a good book for you. Yes, Kathy. Um, it, it, to note on that, you know, we're, I'm going to talk about that too, um, because there, oh, there's a couple of these books that I used in my journey. Oh, I'm so happy you're here too. Um, but a lot of it I didn't. Like I didn't use this book. I, I drew. I, it, I know I drew one flower from this book. Um, uh, first of all, I'm a floral artist in nature, right? So for me. Uh, and, and I'm going to talk about this too, but for me, I was drawn to this, although I didn't use it and I only used uh, one, one reference out of here, it's still nice to have and I, I, I can still, I can refer back to it at any time, right? But these are, these drawings, why they, they start out very simple and, and you have that step-by-step -step growth in the draw, in the phases of the flower that you're trying to create. They are a little more detailed uh, and, and more true to nature than not, you know. So if you're not ready for to handle strong detail or strong lines or you're just a very, very right off the, you know, cuff beginner, this may not be the book yet for you. Um, oh, Julie, I love you, girl. Um, so there, there's a couple of them. But I can tell you one of the best books uh, to get, and, and and anybody who is a experienced person that you know draws that has you know a lot of experience with drawing or sketching or, um, and they'll tell you is the a book called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. It's supposed to be one of the best books to get if you are serious about getting into drawing. I never bought it. Uh, and, that, and again, I'll get into to why I have some and not others and kind of, um, you know, absolutely, I will, all of them, uh-huh. There's my girls, oh, they're just rocking it today, love it, okay. Um, the next, uh, well, where's the other, hold on, I'm missing a book. Oh, I know why I, pull, I didn't pull it, but I'll pull it anyway. Um, where is it? Where are you? Hello? Hello? Oh, I know I didn't pull it before. Hold on. Trying to... Oh, here it is. Okay. So, the next book uh, that were, were these two. I When I started my journey the, this year... Um, these are the books that I, I turn to, and I'll tell you why, is I didn't think that I drew very well. Um, I, I still don't, as I told you, and as Robin and everybody uh, gets on me when I post stuff on Facebook, I don't feel that I draw yet. I feel that I sketch, doodle, you know, kind of thing. Um, so I knew that I wanted to start out um, utilizing the, the, the doodling with the mark making um, to really start my journey this year. And it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, because I'm a mixed media artist and I already have a lot of the painting and everything in my background, I didn't, re I, I didn't really need to... Um, follow this book and do all of the steps in it because I didn't know anything. What it did for me is it allowed me to be funky and creative with doodling in the very beginning to have fun with it. Um, because I too am not necessarily a book person. I can read a book all day long. I'm more of a hands-on kind of person and that's kind of how I learn and that's kind of how I teach and that's kind of but I know that a lot of people can are, are better to learn off. You know, some some people are better with books and then doing, and some people are 
better at doing and then maybe utilizing books to their you know to, for their reference right and that's kind of how i am hi nash um so joanne sharp has been around and she's the the doodle queen of, of them all as far as i'm aware um but she i mean she can she's gonna walk you through lettering she's gonna walk you through and do uh, basic patterns and which is gonna lead me to another thing let me get for you where did i put you oh i think it's on the back side of my this is my art bag my drawing my yeah aha this i am not a person oh <laughs> exactly kathy and that's that's one of my that's one of the things that i was going to uh touch on today too what i learned in going through the process the way i did and and i've always been and, and the girls will tell you when i sit here and i do a stream and whether it's me doing a, a full-on mixed media go all at it kind of journal page or to a more professional pay, uh, painting or doesn't matter what kind of art I'm doing. My, my thing is, is it's about the process. And at the end of the day, drawing fits into that. It does not matter what your shapes look like, what those dots and lines on a page is they're your road to get to where you want to be, you know, and only you can hold up your learning, uh, can hold you, only you can, yourself can hold yourself back from doing something that you want to do or learning something that you want to do, right? It's about the process. And I find that more people have fun and enjoy what they're doing, regardless of the outcome. If they just, it's a, if they just go with it and go with the process and not worry about what the end is okay the end does not matter it's about the road getting there um so anyway joanne sharp like i said has been around for years and years and years and she has this 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 lovely two books they kind of go one is more writing orientated and this is more doodle art orientated but she gives you lots of pictures she gives you you know how to's and how to do this and how to do that and especially if you don't have a lot of mixed music experience in terms of you know what kind of you know uh, um painting or you know art journaling or things to include in art all of the, these books these two books especially this one will be the most helpful to you but i love like stuff like this is awesome okay so she kind of takes you through art and lettering and doodling all in the same spot so if you're just a beginner and you want to get more into drawing and you feel like you draw stick figures this would be a great this is a great book to start out with um and then you can graduate on to other books uh but again like i said drawing on the right side of the brain is one of the best books out there um and i i, I have learned over the years since i've been in, in this in this community that um, from a few different people who are much more talented than I am. Um, and I also, uh, going to put their names if they didn't already put them in the description. Um, they will be, um, but there is people, um, if some of you may be, uh, familiar with Dee Dee Willingham or Kathy Arbor, uh, Janet, uh, Janet, um, uh, uh young here both all three of those women are here on youtube and they do mixed media art too but uh they have they and they do a lot more drawing on screen time than i do and they're more experienced than i am um so those would be some great youtube references as well um what i did was when i got this book and i you know when i started in early 20 20 February ish whatever and I said to myself okay what are we gonna do how are we gonna make this happen so in this book she gives you um, where is it I kind of had had it there in a minute where are you no. 
Ah. So this is one of the things that I did do when I was kind of perusing this book is she tells you you get out 100 doodle cards or a book or whatever and just doodle. And at the same time that I was starting this journey last year, because uh, it's already the new year, um, CC here on, U on YouTube, CC's Creations, is also another gal to follow if you're not already following her or the other three, um, because her, her art is fun and whimsical. Um, she does a lot of doodling and drawing too um, it, with watercolor like I do. Okay, so I, I kind of, uh, I, I connected with that, right? But I've been following her for a while. Pinterest link didn't work. Okay, so now the can somebody check the link? We had trouble last week with supposedly my Instagram one not working, um, but then some people were able to get in there. Um, I will, just look me up under my name. Um, you may have some sort of blocker on your computer. Um, but, so, CC had this video where she, somebody had, uh, uh, she wanted to have her, um, she wanted to have her, uh, like an, uh, uh, a, uh, a book of doodles, right? So it'd be easy for her to, when she's trying to think about what to draw, what to, what to paint is, um, you know, so one of her Patreons had recommended that she create doodle cards. And this was at the very same time that I started going through this book. So I did, I did, I, cre I did I create this and I highly recommend it. Um, it's just a ring and I cut up ugly scrapbook paper and I on the other side is where I doodled or I created patterns for myself so I wouldn't have to constantly think about what to draw because a lot of times drawing as with most a lot of things is repetition right you're only going to get better you got to put the time in right you got to you got to walk the miles and so drawing is the same way with that said you everybody can learn how to draw. Everybody can doodle. If you, Janet Young once said that, and I'll never forget this, and I tell, tell it to everybody all the time, that if you learn to write your name, you can learn to draw. Absolutely, hands down, she is absolutely freaking right. And I wholeheartedly agree with her on that. Um, so yeah, so do that. So in here, it has some of, couple of the patterns that I got off of Pinterest, which is kind of where I'm leading to next, um, and then a lot of my own patterns. And for a few months, I just doodled. I just doodled from, from dots and basic silly little leaves. And, and, and granted, at this point, I could draw beyond this, right? But it was the point of putting in the miles and point of, you know, when I sat down every day, I wouldn't have to think about, okay, what do I, what am I going to draw today? What am I going to, you know, p draw and paint? Because that's kind of one of my things. I'm a watercolorist. I love to, you know, I want to be able to draw my own stuff and paint my own stuff. Um, and so I put in the miles. I put in the time. Um, and after a few months, every dot and line you make today, it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It, do, it does not matter because eventually those lines and dots are going to get you to where you want to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is another thing that I, I recommend doing is just go on pen. And that's, and that, that was the other thing. Um, Pinterest kind of going leading into that, right? There is a, here on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook groups, draw from what you see. First of all, pick a topic you like. Florals, animals, I don't know, feet, you know, whatever your, you know, thing that you like the most that, in, <laughs> um, that um, 
that is your interest, whether it, I, I wouldn't really suggest something more abstract, but I would uh, something that has a reference, right? A topic, a, a, a focal point, right? Um, so I'm a floral artist. So I did, I went on the floral binge um, after uh, with this. And the same time I was doing this, and Scoops can tell you, she's one of my, my avid uh, watercolor and doodle uh, gals, which um, I will be getting back into um, either I don't know, so next couple of years or so, now that the new year is here and Christmas is over. Um, but I'd like to do that, I, and I did that. I did a lot of, uh, and they're still here on my channel, uh, videos where I, I drew and, you know, or I doodled rather, and I painted, and it made me happy. Yes. Yes, the Facebook group, you can, you can share, you, here's the thing with Robin. She wants you to share anything that's artistically, artistic related. Drawings, coloring, painting, uh, you know, junk journaling, all of that. The only thing that she asks is that you do not, and you can share your channel, you can share your, your, your Pinterest, your Instagram, your, your Etsy shop, all the links for everything. The only thing that she does, she asks is that you do not put a price tag within your post on within the, face, the Facebook group. So you can go to your Etsy and share that link. And so it'll pop up in the, in the, in the group, but don't say, okay, I have this in my Etsy shop for $5. Don't, don't, don't. That's the only thing that she, she asks you not to do is put the monetary in there. If somebody is interested there, we recommend that you reach out to them in, in a private message and talk, talk specifics, or they can go to your Etsy shop, but you can share your link. You can share your whatever. Um, so this was a great thing. This was a great thing to do and I highly recommend it. Um, there's another gal um, and, and has, she has books out and this is one of them. Claudia Nice um, is if, and, and this is not that you can't do this with graphite. You know, if you're a person who, who likes to draw with pen versus pencil, um, you know, that kind of thing. She is a, a, a pen, ink and watercolor kind of gal, but she gives you um, a lot in here. This is just now her sketchbook, and she but she talks a lot about like here cross hatching, you know, wavy lines, stippling, um, you know, you, you ha, draw the chicken and and you know, but but so you, she does have some pencil and stuff here, but she is mostly a pen and and an ink or pen and watercolor kind of girl. But her books are very very useful. Um, but again, I think this would be if you still draw stick figures um you can learn some stuff from this book absolutely but you may not be ready to um draw a whole scenery like that so it may be uh, a little um i suggest you get every book on the planet but there might be a time and a place for that right there might be um you know somebody another one of my friends recently told me you know eat with a small spoon you know and I think if you do that, because I did that, not really, I was, you know, I was doing that all last year. And so this, this took, I did this for a couple months and then I started sharing my, my doodle works, um, with here on, on YouTube more and more. Right. And I, that's how the videos came to be, um, because I, I wanted to encourage people um, not only, because I'm a big person on sharing and, 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 and helping others and inspiring others. So even though I was going through a personal journey, I thought it might be beneficial to others, right? I thought it might be where, you know, you might be encouraged to pick up a pen or a pencil and draw, or you might be encouraged to pick up a paintbrush and, and try watercolors. And so I was able to, to share all of that earlier this year so all those videos are on my channel and i recommend you to go and watch each and every one of them some of them uh you know they're just you know basic doodling with some watercolors and some of them are more drawing um but i wholeheartedly encourage you to do that 
um, and make guides for yourself. And, and you, you nobody's going to have the same set. This is, I think this is 100 cards, maybe less. I think it was 80-something, actually, last time I counted. Um, but this is a good thing to keep, right? Uh, but Claudia Nice has other books, too, that are pen and ink uh, on X, uh, Amazon, rather. So she has, like, I don't know how many books she's got out, but um, I have, like three or four on my wish list <laughs> there's my scoops um so yeah so those are the the, the I, I would look towards this artist claudia nice you know this may not be the exact book to start out with but she's a great author to 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 work off from um joanne sharp um get yourself or or, or even you if, if you can't afford to buy a book don't don't stress about not being able to find a book Go out to Pinterest, copy, copy what you see, you know, find, figure out the topic that interests you and go and, and copy what you're seeing on these social media sites. You can't sell it, of course, and you can't, you know, uh, you know, if, if you are, if you have a channel or you're, you're posting, you want to make sure that you, you give credit to who inspired that particular drawing um, because, you know it's theirs but do the work do the do have have fun exploring all the great thing that the internet provides for you right <laughs> okay so those are books and my ring um Let's talk about, um, oh, let's talk about materials, right? Let's get that out of the way. Um, I have way too many. Yeah. Um, but I use all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all the pens that I have. And this isn't all of them. This is just most of them. Some of them, half of them. Okay. Let's talk, look, you can draw on any kind of paper, but, you know, you may have a favorite kind of paper, right? Pinterest doodle fold is overloaded. Please actually draw something first. Yes! I think I understand what you're saying. Maybe. Not sure. Um, so if you're a graphite person, you like to hold a pencil. And that's another thing, too. If you're just starting out, uh, you know, you, you got to figure out what tool best fits in your hand, right? Some people like to use graphite and they like to use a pencil. Um, some people love to use pens. I'm, I'm, I'm one of these kind of people. I, I'm, I'm one of these kind of people. Um, but if you are going to use a pencil, and and there's a, the gals here on YouTube will probably contest. At least I know Dee Dee and Janet would. Um, and they're the only kind I buy is the Gap Gear pencils. Oh, let me turn on focus. One moment, please. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. Any tools that you have, you know, and that's that's where I was saying, like, you use Pinterest, use, use your tools, use the stuff that's out there to help you get started. Because it's really just taking that first step, right? Is, is getting out there and do, you got to walk the miles. Okay, let me, okay. And, okay. So, gaff gear. Come on, baby, focus. Okay. You are focused. Why aren't you? focusing oh there it is oh there it is okay gaff gear uh, by pentel you can get these on amazon they're not too expensive they're probably a, a, a fiber something like that um they come with leads that you put inside and it's a mechanical pencil right it's one of the best pencils i've ever used i love it 
Oh, Galena, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, they're really not expensive. It's only like, like I said, it's like five bucks, seven bucks. Tell him to pull out his wallet for five minutes, uh, for five bucks rather. Um, so that's pencils. And if you are going to use pencil, you're going to want a good, a uh, good racer, um, which is if you're buying erasers, get the white ones. Um, especially if you're trying to draw on like watercolor paper or paper that you're going to paint on. These um, don't leave any residue and they're easy on the paper. They won't put a hole in it, you know, when you're trying to erase to China, right? And then there is, these are called uh, blending stumps or something else, but they help you move the, uh, the, the graphite uh, around, right? Or the, the, the lead around, right? So you're going to want, these are like dirt cheap too. You can get a whole set of them, I don't know, for a couple bucks on Amazon. They come all different sizes and that. Um, you're going to want a pencil. You're jumping in muddy puddles. Oh, it's Peppa Pig, y'all. You want to say hi? Hi. And there's the other little handy. <laughs> there you go, baby. Love you. Bye-bye video. Bye-bye video. <laughs> Ooh, scoops, email me that information. I'll have to, have to get it. Um, and so, and then if, if you do have a pencil where you need to uh, sharpen it and it's not mechanical, um, get a pencil that, um, one of these kind of uh, sharpeners and just make sure to sharpen turning this in circles rather than your pencil um, you're less likely to uh, break the lead and that's just a, that's a tip for whether you're using colored pencils or whatever that's why I have this even though I don't I have this um, but yeah so I mean the, the first step is to get your feet wet get out there get a few of the minimal supplies to get you going because I encourage creativity even if you don't have everything that I have wow it's 10 bucks 11 bucks now for <laughs> Oh, for a Pentel. Wow. Well, yeah, they have. Hi, hi, Effie. Um, I guess they've increased a little bit, huh? Um, I've had my graph gears for, for years now, so uh, it, Janet recommended it, and I haven't looked back. Um, anyway, okay, so let's talk pens. Um, I personally like uh, the brand Uniball. Um, for some things, or for most things, or for most general drawing, right? Um, they have some that start with uh, in size of 0.28, which is like a like a super fine. Let me find that's a 38. One of these will be ah. okay. So that lead is super super tiny. Come on, baby. There we go. See how tiny that not lead I should say the nib on that pin is this is this writes a very fine fine line they have 28s 38s all the way up to these uh, broader uh, nibbed pins um, and I'm not going to go through every pen um, and then there's some that are like these which are the microperms there's Le Pen and these come in a couple different sizes as well um, every pen has its purpose, um, but you have, you know, from your, your initial sketch drawing type pen, right? And to these that, um, they're meant for drawing, right? They're meant for, um, making the marks, uh, in, in art. Um, the, the, the way the, the pen, um, they're called technical pens, the way they write and draw there's just something lovely about them. Um, but you can pick up a basic Uniball pen and go to town, right? I mean, initially, starting out, it's about the process. It's about getting out there and, and making it, you know, like I said, putting, putting the time in, putting the steps in. And again, what the mark you make today is going to be different tomorrow. And it doesn't matter where you started from. It doesn't matter how you get there. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, 
yeah some people like microns i'm not the biggest fan of microns i don't dislike them they're just not my favorite um so yeah so the, and you know there's i have a couple different colors and styles of those kinds of pens um and then there's a couple, some of my favorite which these aren't really you can draw with these and um, they have they do some fun things but they're not really meant for you know initial drawing but you have um brush pens okay with a brush nib this is fun to draw with and all the way to a uh a lamy calligraphy pen right so um and then there's also which i recently got into well not recently got into i would say right around june it was either right before my birthday or right at my birthday i was gifted a uh, a calligraphy pen and glass pen set which is also which I also draw with mm -hmm. yes there you will see in some of the videos on my channel where I draw with my calligraphy and glass pen um, and if you're using um, acrylics some pens will write over them and some won't if you're using watercolors um, some pens will run with water and some don't um, so, you know, I, I, if I were to recommend a pen for, if you're just starting out, um, grab, you know, grab your, your Bic, you know, from your, you know, you know, your drawer that's, you know, by the refrigerator, that junk drawer, you know, grab your Bic out of there and go to town. Um, if you want to invest in a couple pens, I would say to get, um, like a 38 Uniball. That's a good one to start. Um, any color you can get uh, different colored uniball pens off of uh, I know Amazon has a pack um, but you can get different color pens off of jet pens it's a really good place but I will warn you um, it's kind of like the black hole I mean the you know rabbit hole you will go down that that yeah. hole and stay there for a while because they just have a lot of yummy pens and stuff um, and I, I shop from there uh, when I need pens um, so yeah, so get yourself a couple pens that feel good in your hand that will allow you to, to put pen to paper, right? Um, then maybe branch out and get the specialty pens, but, um, and I'm not even as crazy as some y'all, okay? <laughs> yes, Scoob's last, last week when I came over for lunch, remember? <laughs> um... But no, seriously, you know, Bic and Uniball um, are, are a couple good starters, um, good for starting pens. Um, yeah, okay. And if you have any questions about anything, and I'm going to stop here and give you guys a minute. Oh, and there's also pens like, well, these are technical pens too, but um, these are like the Myrons. These are, yeah, yummy, yummy. Um, and I'm going to stop here in a second and give you guys a chance to ask any questions that I may have missed and if I did I do apologize um, but just get a couple basic things and get started that's that's what I recommend and then you know decide how far you want to take it you know you don't want to go out and buy the the, the farm before you know or the horse before you bought the farm right um, <laughs> so that's that that's books that's pens are there any questions uh, and if i if you have any questions later email me my email is in the description box hit me up on on uh, instagram uh, or facebook i'm always willing to help and give you know recommendations or you know point you in the right direction Hi, Brent. I love my pens too. Can't help it. Can't help it. I'm. I. I. Most. You will see that most of the drawing I have done, it, and I still do today. When I pick up, when I when if somebody asks me go draw something, I'm gonna find the pen. Hands down, I'm gonna find the pen. <laughs> my favorite pen. I have a few. <laughs> I can't say. Uh, well. The Uniball uh, small nibs are my favorite. Okay, so this is a broad one, but this is white. So love this pen. Uh, the Uniball 38s and 28s are, are my favorite to draw with. Um, but this, 
uh, you know, then I have my brush pen that I love, my calligraphy pens that I love. Um, and then as far as the technical type pens, I like the Microperm. Um, not all of these are, uh, well, uh, are, are, these are permanent, right, when you start drawing, right? Like, I don't have to, there's no waiting time. This one, because it's gel, you really, you got to give it just a second to, to dry. Um, but I don't typically use this as, as a, something on top of my work rather than within my work. Um, let's see. Talked about the pencil, the graph gear. I love it. Um, let's see. Mm, Unibal also has some good metallics out. Um, these are called, oh, they're just, these are the signals, but these are the, the fine lead signals, unlike this one. So see, you see how tiny that is compared to the broad nib, which is a little bit bigger. Well, a lot bigger. Let's just face it. Um, I'm, I'm a small nib kind of girl when it comes to my pens, mostly. Um, but there's some other ones in here that I really, really like, you know, and then I, I had to have like all the colors, right? So when I started, I, I had to get all the co colors because that's fun and I like color. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yep, yep. I, I love you. I'm a big proponent of Uniball um, and, and, and some Pentel stuff and, and, you know, like the brush pen and the brush pen is awesome. Um, but then, heck, if this is all I have, this is a regular Uniball pen, but again, I'm a Uniball girl, so it makes sense. Um, yeah. Any other questions so far? Um, let me see. I have anything else to add to the pen and um, oh, if you t <laughs> color me yes. Well, I I just I love color. I I am a liquid medium artist. I don't do acrylics with the exception of acrylic inks, which are not like acrylic paint at all. Um, but I watercolor, uh, acrylic inks, uh, sprays, you know, magicals. Those are the kind of medium that I work with in my work um yeah I, I don't do acrylic paint nope um okay so let's take a look about let's uh, let's take a look at now my journey through this year right and kind of why i i can say that putting in the miles is going to get you there right so i i went from those doodling cards and doing the, the videos with watercolor and doodling, which again, we're gonna get back to in the next day or so. Um, but I went from that and I created some of my own designs um, and I also put some others. So this is kind of a, a mix of some stuff that's on that ring that you guys seen and some stuff that um, is, was too big to put on a card. So it, never you know but it was in my sketchbook right so when once i got and here let me take this once i got to a, a certain phase in my journey early last year and i had those all those cards and i had been doing the the, the at the same time been doing the videos and stuff and and, and it wasn't a long time i want to say like it was it was a month or two um, I started, I, I took some of the designs from the cards that I really, really liked. And then uh, some of my designs I had, you know, done or had in my head. And I, you know, made some wa watercolor uh, swatches. And then I just made, I put all my designs out on a reference sheet so I could have above my desk, right? Um, and like I said, some of these are my own. Um, some of these are from others. But again, this this took me from that those initial few days of drawing and doodling to feeling, feeling a little more confident in where I was, right? And, and my progression after a month and a half or whatever, however long it was, uh, two months, whatever. Um, so you're going to get better, right? You're going to you're going to learn and you're going to find your way because the way I hold a pen or what, how I learn, um, 
or what I draw may not be what you draw, what you, how you like to learn and how you, you, you want to progress, right? You know, so you got to just put in the miles. So these, these are some of the things that I drew last year. All of these are, some of them are just basic, you know, marks and stuff, but some of it's elaborate as, you know, these flowers, right? So, and these leaves and, you know, like I said, some of it's my own designs and some of it's not. Um, you know, but you can go from a basic tree to, you know, a flower that has detail. Why don't you put the Yeah, Christine's been with me since um, last year. Because it was um, so that was that. Was that. Then from there, and at the same time, you know, I was doing the watercolor and doodling, right? Because I had progressed from there. So this was the, uh, uh, these are some traveler's notebooks I put in a folder thingy. Um, but this is some of the stuff you're going to see. Um, this is pen work here. Just drawing some circles and some lines and going to town. Again, some more doodling. Nothing nothing fancy, just some basic doodling. Ollie, what are you doing? Um, some flowers, again, basic doodling. Here's my trees. Um, some weird alien type flower pod things <laughs> um something a little more more <laughs> elaborate <laughs> love this page again just just basic leaf shapes you know and that's that's kind of where i'm what i'm gonna go to next is everything and from what I learned from those online is that, and, you like it, and it's true, everything can be defined by a shape, right? Everything has a shape to it. Um, whether it's a rabbit's foot to uh, a big flower thing, painting, or whatever. Each, you just got to break down that item, right? A flower petal may look like a green bean, okay? That's its initial shape, or... A jelly bean or you know but it's taking those those shapes and doing something with them right so again basic doodling you know I, I put the miles in I, I, I tried different things I you know and like I said I did with watercolor you know because I'm a watercolorist you know um, love this paint that didn't come out so well but yeah those are some sort of funky leaf fan leaf things um some different kind of flowers and i did some more more pen work and doodling in the background right you know so all and all of these i don't think any of the none of these were done with pencil all of these were done in pen this is um pen all of this is pen Pen work, pen work. Uh, again, doing a, a, a kind of off the first one, but a different arrangement. Um, some more, you know, pen work as far as all the circles and dots and, you know, outlines and all that. Oh, this one's upside down. Everybody's got to have an upside down page. So that was this one. So again, I, so then I took my tree and we did we did some funky flower and some sort of I don't even know what we called that at the time, but <laughs> it's it, 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 yeah, it's just a funky flower I had I had drawn. Uh, oh no, here. So here. So this is another my sketchbook. We're gonna we're gonna look at it too. Um, some of this stuff. But let me see if I can quickly find. Was it here? Yeah, it was in one of these these sketchbooks. Where that flower came from? Cause, uh, hold on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, this was my first time drawing that flower. And then I did. We were. I was on stream one time uh, doing this live. Um, and so I drew one of them. But it's just it's just a funky thing. I don't. It it's a. You know, honestly, it's a seashell. Okay, but I made it into a flower, and it's got leaves and things. But if you can see the the sea the seashell shape right there behind all that wispy 
pen work. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, I mean, just have fun with it, you know. Try try it. Uh, you know, it, you can ask me all day, all day long how to do something, but you just got to try it, you know. Just get it. Get, I don't know if something may work. Try it. You gotta you gotta find what works for you, and that goes back to finding the right tools, finding the figuring out what you want to concentrate on, or you know how you want to learn. Um, you know, and again, like I said, the the uh, the subject matter, what what you're going to concentrate on. You know, there's also something to be said that draw the same thing for 365 days. And then you'll see that you're, you're where you're at, 365 from day one, is going to be completely different, right? So then, or was this the first one? This one might have been the first one. But this is also during that initial beginning time where I drew. This is one of my own designs, which hasn't been released yet. Um, but here's some more leafy things that I did. Um, this, these two are, you know, um, so this is just some stuff that I did around that time as well, right? So, oh, here's the flowers that that one painting was off of. Um, and then you'll see that I didn't like some stuff too. Um, like here, here's something I was trying to, uh, develop and I got to this one. This is the one where I stopped because I liked it. I haven't I haven't released it yet, but it's it's there and that's just some weird stuff. Um nothing on that one. Um oh here's some stuff I drew some mushrooms, some funky mushrooms. Um let's see. Leaves, you know, so this is the, I, I had to, I had to, because I had done some drawing in the past and some, um, uh, some, some, you know, I had some experience. I went back, if you, if you really think about it, I went back to basics and then I stopped jumping on my bed, young man. Um, I went back to basics and, um, then came back from that, right? Because I had some drawing experience already. Okay, so that's that. Let's put that over there. Now we take a look at some of my real sketchbooks after that time frame. You okay? Yeah. Stop jumping on Grandma's bed, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tickle you until you pee. He doesn't believe me. Um, and forewarning, some of this is, some of this is bad, bad, mm -hmm. bad. Um, <laughs> on this book, okay, so these are some funky flowers with an egg in the middle or corn cob leaves. I, I don't even know. Some of this is just doodling to, to, to doodle, right? I wonder, I guess do it this way, but then see some things that are supposed to be right, okay? And you'll see I draw one way on, you know, it's, it's all how I like to hold the, the paper because these are a uh, thinner style sketchbook. So, hey, so take that in the bedroom if you want to play with that. Go on. No, not right now. Take your, you can either go back in grandma's room and watch show or you take your car and go in your room and play. Oliver Grayson. Thank you. Um, cause I, I, I'm right-handed, so I had to turn the book the way I like to, I like to uh, hold the book. So I apologize if some of this is kind of backwards. I need, I need a chair. You need a chair for what? Oh, to play in there. Okay, one second, guys. Yeah, Grandma can put you up in there. That's fine. I don't even know what that is. This is some sort of alien flower thing. Um, yeah. Some of it I've scratched out because 
I didn't like it. <laughs> um, some of it I kept, and some of it should be scratched out probably. Um, some of it's, you know, fancy doodling. Some of it's not. Some of it's, you know. Oh, I did a painting off of this one with this one in mind. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's uh, live on YouTube. Um, but you'll see that I, I, if I drew something, usually I went with it, right? But if I didn't quite get the shape that I wanted, I scratch it out and move on. <laughs> Um, here's one of my more completed works. This one's a still, this one, um, this flower will probably be released in the next, uh, paper pack, the next digital paper pack. The queen of backwards. <laughs> Hi, Shy! <laughs> um, yeah, you know, uh, which way am I going? Okay, I'm going the right way. Oh. So yeah, so I did this, and this was another uh, style. I started, so I, where did I, where did it go? Okay, so this was my first one, kind of getting an idea in my head, right? So I just kind of did this and that and everything else, right? And then a couple week, uh, like a week later or whatever, I did this one. So there is something to be said that you, your initial sketch doesn't have to be anything fancy. It, it just needs to, you just need to enjoy the process. Have fun, you know, whether, like I said, whether it's drawing animals or, you know, if you like to draw people, you know, I'm not a people drawer. I'm, I, I don't do portrait art or anything like that, but uh, that's okay, hon. <laughs> I figured you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, so you can definitely see a difference in how, how, what changes I made from here. Like I don't have this, it's, it's more just circles, right? And I added more stuff on this side rather than, and I put this thing up here. Um, and then I did a painting off of it. Um, and this was what I actually did the paint off, this stuff, this, this version. Okay. Shh. Um, this is my, I, I did a video, I don't know, a few weeks ago, that, that, with the exception of this scratch out, this is, this is, uh, this is, um, he's a, um, a snail. He's a funky snail. I know. <laughs> um, I was playing with some of the stuff from the other painting here. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see some other fun stuff just some uh, mindless doodling sometimes um, some again I didn't like the shape I crossed it out moved on uh, be, you know here was a lot of scratch out there um, and then some other stuff I kind of I kept in there and it it might come to um, re uh, fruition and be developed into a, a paper pack who knows um, then here, uh, practicing petal shapes, because again, I like florals, so I was practicing some different, uh, petal shapes that I would want to incorporate, um, because I like creating my own stuff. Um, here's the leaves, there. You guys, I am video, you need to be quiet. That means no talking. Ollie, eat your dinner. And then here's another set of leaves. And I don't know what this is, but uh, I did a creative journaling page, uh, and I showed it either on my social medias. I don't think I did this on camera, though. But I, sh I showed it on my social media. You guys, quiet. What does she want? What is he, he fussing for? Oh, don't mess with him right now. Eat your food. You can have it back later. Oh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, child. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> he is a fancy. Yeah, I love my fancy uh, snail. I, like I said, I did a, a, a video using him on a leaf. Um, but here's some more, you know. Uh, here's the, these, uh, there's, there's a place in here somewhere, or it might be on one of my bigger sheets. This guy was developed 
he's uh, he's on my paper pack from one of the last releases um, but this isn't the one because I started out I, I had a I was I had went to go scratch something out that I was drawing and that's how he was born so he's a and he's got a fishing fishing pole tail some sort of fly thing um, flowers more flowers more flowers um, yeah. more fun stuff playing around with the, this this actually was somebody's Pinterest that I was I, I was using as reference practicing pen work you know different kinds of shading um, yeah these are not mine I can't claim those um, this is not the right one either I have one where I was scratching something out and that's how that was born <clears throat> here's some more like art deco type leaves flowers besides the center part don't pay attention to that but here's where you know I was using that shading that I was doing here learning from and kind of trying to develop a flower there's one that came of it but I don't know where that's at um, here's my peppermint flowers these are mine looks like a peppermint and I did a uh, there's a video a members only video uh, where I do a whole walkthrough of this so if you're a member you've either seen it or if you're a new member it is there for your viewing pleasure um, but yeah more art deco type leaves uh, you know peppermint flowers doesn't make no sense I know but um, it's more mindless doodlings Um, I, I was starting to do s some sort of skitty cityscape thing over here. I never finished it. I stopped. I had to, I was leaving for somewhere um, that day. More flower stuff playing around. Oh, total scratch up there. I don't even. Oh, I must have been doing some sort of floral thing. Yeah. Um, then there's this one. Um, this is on a membership video as well. This uh, my cute little top flower. You know, like those uh, tops that, uh, you know, spins and stuff. That's what that is. Um, I have, I, I kind of take from real life um, things. Like, for instance, and, and that's another thing. It, 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 you know, wordplay too, um, or, or something that you can do the same thing with. Like here. So I have dice leaves. <laughs> um, and... What is she doing? If it isn't the kids, it's a dog. What do you got? Go lay down. The dog's going to drive me to drink. Um, where was I? Oh, here. So here's the twisted top flower that I developed. <laughs> so, you know, I give them, I, I use things in real life to help me play around and find find different ways to draw something that I like, right? Um, okay, yeah, we're going in the right direction. Um, some more funky stuff there. Here's my totem again. Butterfly. Some funky flower with some... I don't, I don't even know what that is. Um, some of it's just funky, and I was just playing around with different shapes and lines and texture and, you know, from dots to circles to, you know, stippling to whatever, right? Here's a flower that's still uh, in production, or um, not production, that has not been released for production yet, but it will be. Um, these and this. Okay, so enough about that. And then finally, I'll let you guys in on seeing a few of my more real works of art. <laughs> The dog drives me to drink. Yeah. Well, she was chewing on a plastic bag. She's gonna choke on it. Just, just have fun. Like I said, if you like drawing circles, you draw them circles. Okay. I mean, just draw, draw the lines, draw the circles. Things start out simple, and then you can elaborate on them as you become more proficient. Right? Guys. Um, let's see. You've seen one of these uh, style in that book. That's a um, these two. This is how I got to my last release 
um, well, one of the releases for my, um, my, uh, peony flower. So, right? So, but this is where I started. And this, this was all in uh, a day, right? So I started out drawing different shapes of petals um, and elaborating on them, finding the kind of the right kind of striation mark I wanted to make, um, crossing out a lot of them because those were not the ones. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, and then I knew that, you know, it might come a day where I might have to teach it, right? Or, you know, show how I got this, right? All of this can be made by these simple lines, these simple shapes. And these, these puddles are kind of like heart shaped, if you will. And I, you know, flipped a, a corner. Uh, I like to give my petals points on, on for my peonies. I don't know why, it just looks, I don't know. Um, I was trying different leaves with it. Um, so yeah, and this was one of, in one of my paper packs on, um, uh, in my Etsy. Um, Let's see, you guys seen this one and this one. These are two that are uh, kind of come out in the next release, in, in this month's release. So those those are done. I just got to paint now. Um, but this guy, when I was researching um, uh, what are these called again? Petunias, right? Because even though I'm a floral artist, I don't always know exactly how everything is supposed to look, right? Um, so I have to do a little research. I have to do a little practice, right? So initially I started over here, you know, a basic like clover wavy line outline. Gave it a few little things in the middle. I knew that was wrong, but it was just the point of doing it, right? Then I went to this one and started here, said, no, that's not it. Then I drew this one. And this one's not bad. It's not bad. I've seen it on Pinterest, you know, the, the, the style and everything. So I, I copied it. I used it as a, as a reference. Hi, Judy. Nice to see ya. Uh, no, petunias. So, um, which I think are the same family as Morning Glories. What, baby? You're full? Okay, go wash your hands and face. Uh, and then tell Daddy uh, to come get your plate. Okay, that you're done eating. Um, but at this point, uh, you know, again, all of this was done in like a day, right? So I just kind of picked the pen. I said, what flower am I going to do for this next release, right? I, 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 I kind of had the title in my head. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I you know, I've never really drawn a petunia, but what the heck? Because, I, you know. So then I said, well, okay, now I gotta, I gotta figure out, you know, from, from getting to, from the flowy petals and to the center, you know. So I and and different. I didn't like these leaves, so I said, okay, I need to lighten up my pen work. These were too heavy, so I did that, you know. And I played around with centers, starred, circle with pointy things sticking out, um, and I made myself a note. Make the petals a little more flowy. I never listened to myself. I did not do that. As you see in the final development, they're flowy, but they're not. They're not. They're not truly flowy. These are more flowy, uh, and I have a mind for, the, for that type of flow, but in a different flower, not in the petunia. So I did that, and then I got to here. And again, I was practicing. I wanted to get that center just right. Okay. I didn't have the center, in my eyes, I didn't have the center correct. So I kept playing around with it, said, nope, none of these are right. Then I said, well, let me stipple it, right, and see what it looks like. So I went on, 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 on I went in and I started drawing here, and that didn't work out right, so I flipped the paper around. <laughs> um, and I, so, and I did. I, I kind of... Um, Got some reference, and um, but this isn't it, you know, this is just my design taking what I'm learning and seeing from others, um, and putting it into my own work, putting my own spin on it. Um, lots of detail, yes. Um, you know, I took the centers and I stippled them, like I said, you know, because I said, let me stipple it because the 
cross hatching, hatching didn't make me happy. Coloring them in, in, because they are kind of star shaped yet roundish. None of these worked for me, right? Because you know you get that star shape of the the inner lines there, but then you have the petal work, right? And so I just, but this isn't the true petal or uh, center that I'm going with. But that's beside the point. I did the work. I did the I did the leg work. I did the research. And then I came up with my final, one of my final designs. You guys will see this in the next paper pack. Um, and then this is the secondary. Um, both of these are going to be included in the next release. Um, and the paper pack is going to be completely different than the other four that I have now and the ones I did before, right? They're, they're, they're going to be, it's going to be a completely different look. Um, but these, these are going to be in that release. But so the, my point is, is that I didn't like where I started out, but I did the work and I got where I wanted to be, where at least I'm happy with it, you know? So I wasn't happy at minute one, but I was happy at minute 365, right? So don't, don't worry that you're drawing stick figures today. Them stick figures, man, they're gonna, they're gonna get you. They're gonna take you walking, you know? Do, do the, do, find something that, find the, the focal point that interests you, the tools you like to, to use, and just, it's more about the process. Have fun with it. Go for it. You know, that's what I always will tell you. My moderators will tell you too. That's the very first thing. Anybody comes to my stream and they say, oh, I like what you're doing. You can do it too. You can do it too. I would rather you be creative than not be creative, right? So, let me get... Let me get paper really quick. You guys need to be quiet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here. Let me get some more paper. All right. So with that, all of that said, now I'm going to take another break and see if there's any other questions. Well, yeah, it was, you know, that goes back to that whole day one, day 365 thing. You can draw them. You got to put the time in, though. You know, I, I again, I don't think myself uh, something that I can draw. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a person that draws. I'm a person that doodles. They're my doodling, and you know, one day, I'll, I'll be great. I'll be good. I'll get better, or at the very least, I'll be happy that I tried. Train in the whisper to be a tree. <laughs> um, okay, so I gotta take my glasses off. So, um, oh yeah, let's go back to the chat, the question things. Any questions? No? Okay, good. All right. Again, don't don't be shy. Speak up. Ask any time you, you um, have a question. I'm going to draw a simple... Let's see, I want that. And some simple things um, to kind of go back to the whole using the shape to get you there. Kind of... And, and do a little bit of drawing for you here. Um, let me find. No, I don't want to use uh, my sepia. Let me get the black. It'll show better. Where is my black? Oh, that's my 28. And. Where is my black? Oh, it might be up here. Okay. Yeah, this is the 38. Okay. I want to 
All right. So this is just, I pull paper out of this because I need, I use it as sketch paper. This is um, Arteza's uh, not 100% um, cold pressed watercolor paper. Um, but it's got texture enough. I like texture to draw on, I, so I typically draw on watercolor paper. Um, this is their 110 pound um, cold press, dual sided, uh, mixed media and watercolor technique paper. Whatever. Okay. So let's. So oh, this is my 38. I don't want. I don't want to start out with this one. Oh no. No 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 no. Let's start out with this one. Um. So, I typically when I'm gonna start to draw one of my flowers of any kind. Um. Probably smooth. Uh. But I've never. I, I've never had smooth. Uh. Or, or hot press, as they call it, um, watercolor paper in my studio. I'm a cold press kind of girl, or rough texture um, when it comes to, so that's what, but I, I like this because the way I draw, it, ha, it it's not necessarily for any any purpose other than the fact that I, I like it, I like the way it, it feels under my pen when I draw. Guys, okay, that's it. I'm not gonna tell you again. Ollie. You guys kept it quiet. You guys can play with that later. Um, and that's the only reason. Because, and again, you know, if, if I draw on this, I want to be able to paint on it too. And and that, you know, because I'm a watercolorist, that's why I use this paper, typically. Um, but that's not to say that when I'm sitting at work, and I, you know, I'm maybe on a break or something, I might just do the one regular copy paper because it's there. I mean, I work from home, but, you know, if I'm in the air working, you know, I'm not going to get up and get my expensive paper to doodle on. All right, so what I typically do when I start out, um, and this isn't necessarily a wrong thing or a, a right thing at this point, everybody you're gonna find your own way right so you know I, I do there are some constants though or some uh, suggestions um, that hold true that I found in my journey and learning from others over the years um, when you're holding your instrument whether that's a pen or a pencil don't You'll be more, you'll be looser and more free if you're not holding your pen way down here, like when you write. Drawing, you, you want to kind of hold it at a at, a, at a, a length, right? That's comfortable for you to keep it in your hand, um, but to give you free movement. So you're not. This is real stiff. This is real uptight. This is loose and and going to allow you that freedom to to just express yourself on paper. And that, again, that holds true whether it's a, a pen or a pencil. <laughs> right? That's good. Do it. Yeah, I mean, so and probably a lot of people, I, I, I don't, I don't know what, I can't say most or half or whatever, but probably majority of, of those that draw may draw with pencil and, and, and may draw on smooth paper. And, and it might also be that some people use a different kind of paper because of the medium. Like some people may want to color with Copics or uh, alcohol uh, markers or, you know, ink or whatever later. And so you, you might want to use, you know, Yupo paper or something. Um, you know, so there's things to take into consideration when you're d deciding on your instrument and your substrate, you know, um, in that regard. But there really is are no rules. But there are some const con constants that I think um, that most people who draw will tell you. And I found it to be true is that 
don't hold your pen uh, again don't hold your pen real tight you'll see me I'll I have my pen back here in my hand and I, I draw this way very rarely will you see my hand unless I'm writing down here um, that's one tip I can give you another one is again simple shapes you know take that circle and make it something take that oblong rectangle whatever and make it something turn it you know it, a, a rabbit's foot has a couple different shapes right you know but you might start out with you know the hind the hind the back leg let's take their back leg right so you'll start out you'll have a circle right and then you have you have a like oval okay and I'm just doing this you know not for real because I don't draw animals but that's the two basic shapes and I don't know if you're st I might have to let me see my eyeballs you can kind of see though I, I tend to draw I tend to start out white when I draw okay but those are the two shapes that would start out a rabbit's foot right simple shapes it's taking those simple shapes and what you do within those shapes that take it to become something right. <laughs> um you know and the same holds true um with, with anything else that you want to draw start out with those basic shapes practice those get comfortable with those and, or, or not take those basic shapes try to make what you're trying to do today um and then see where you need to where you want to improve right um when you're drawing to another tip is that and hopefully you won't be holding your pen down here you will hold your pencil pen whatever your instrument in the somewhere in the middle freeing don't draw with your hand like this you know moving your wrist don't don't draw with your wrist draw with your arm right draw this this is going to give you flow and movement okay you guys need to be quiet and now i told you you're not listening to grandma and i'm not happy <laughs> you just said the magic word for Jude's. <laughs> um, Oliver Grayson. Okay. All right. So, um, so well, let's see. We talked about shapes. We've talked about holding your your pen or pencil. We talked about you know using your whole arm to draw, uh, not be not be stiff. Um, and I think practice, you know, if, if you're, especially if you're really new, you know, take the time to, you know, uh, when you first draw, you might, you might, you know, uh, no, I'm trying to do it, draw it the right way. Um, this, this is your square, right? It's not perfect by any means. It's not a, it's not a perfect square or rectangle, but if you, you know, practice them, practice your your shapes whether that's just basic circles or you know or squares you're going to get a more true edge and um true item then you know and then from here you can you can um i have to come up here a little bit because i came down too far but you can make up you can draw yourself a box right uh, turn your paper. Make 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 your tools work for you, right? And this is just some simple lines. So I took that square that's the square shape, and I'm I'm i you know we created a box now, right? So there's that. So work your shapes, break down what you're trying to draw into those shapes, and just keep at it. Just keep doing it. Have fun with it, you know. So. When I approach a drawing for the first time, a flower especially that I don't know necessarily, but I do this even if I do know the flower, I start at a certain point. Um, I always start with that little tiny dot right there. 
that is the start of my drawing. That's where I start every single time. I find where where I want to start that flower because some flowers are shaped differently, but I always start with that one dot. From there, okay, out, out, go on. No, you guys are fighting and I'm not dealing with it. I'm up. out, don't play in the bedroom. Melody? Hold on. Hello, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, I told them what five times. It's probably a couple more than I would have normally told them. <laughs> yeah, she's she's not being the the happiest. She's not the happiest child today, so she's not minding very well as she normally would. Um, so where was I? Oh, the dot. The dot. Drawing squares means I'm intelligent. Oh, I don't know about that either. Yeah, that was the one of the first books I, I said, uh, Brenda, for them to get. That was a good refer uh, recommendation. Um, yeah. I don't own it personally because, again, I'm a hands-on kind of learner. Not that I can't learn from a book because I do and have and can but in this regard I knew I'd have more fun by by uh, learning on my own and I I just I wanted to play I wanted to explore so anyway what I'm what I'm what we're here to do here and let's let me bring you guys in just a little bit more I don't think that's going to let me take off focus and okay let me straighten the camera here it does look a little weird sorry about that okay that's straighter okay so this is my dot and I'm just going to do a quick little floral for you so here I'm starting with some oval shapes, right? They're just some funky ovals. Okay. Okay. But in doing this, then I know where I want to go from here, right? And this is just a, a blossom flower. Okay. And so once I, I can take that shape, you know, and then I can I can start um, adding more to it, right? Maybe I want to make these these more uh, pointed. So I'm coming in. I'm gonna make them more more pointed, then rounded. So I've already taken that oval shape, right, like this. And I'm just adding to it. And it's okay that I've got some line work there. You're going to see that all of that's going to not going to matter in a minute. Okay. So here we are making 
making our petals more pointed. Okay. And I'm turning the paper to make it work for me. Okay. So now I have more defined petals in this flower. Okay. And then I'm going to talk about our stem here. So I'm just going to kind of, but again, and I'm holding my pen down here so I can do all that maneuvering, whether it's striation lines, cross hatching, uh, dots, whatever, you know. So now I'm giving it a stem, okay, just like that, okay. Then I might decide, well, okay, and, and I'm typically, a, 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 especially if I'm just doodling, I, I like my the, the stems of my flowers to be thin, not thick, okay. And then, let's see, I'm using the 28. Now I'm going to switch to my one nib up higher pen. Check if I get any questions. Lotus. It, it could have been if had I had I not uh, done the, the stem on it. Um, yeah, it could have been. Um, so now, now it's time to kind of bring in a little bit of shading work to bring it more out from the that simple chicken feather looking thing that it is and bring it more to the flower side right so you know i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna deepen up my lines a little bit and and, and be more more firm in my um in my tackle right? uh, or or in my shape you know and some people recommend the, the use of grids and while I don't use them I don't necessarily think that they're a bad thing so if you need a grid use a grid okay okay so now we've got a more defined shape my initial light lines are almost pretty much gone I did get a little messy over here on that one but that's okay Okay, and again, I'm going to come down and I'm going to make that stem and the, the, butt, the butt or bottom of the flower be more pronounced. Again, keeping, keeping my, my stem thin because that's the way I like it. I don't like thick stems. I don't know why, but I just don't, you know, and then I might decide I want to give it a little, a little bit of shape at the bottom because it's been plucked out of the ground, right? So give it a little bit of a bulb down here. And again, that's just coming straight and doing a little curve and then filling it in. Okay. So now um, you can decide whether you want to put uh, uh, the, oh, what are they called? The little things inside the flower. Maybe, uh, maybe we want to put um, some funky little, you know, things coming up. Uh, yeah, stamens. That's what it. You know, maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want to have stamens on there. Okay. Um, or you know, maybe I want more shading. You know, so I'm gonna really hold my pen back here, um, and I do the same thing with pencil, um, and I might come around the edge and kind of just. Bring in some more um, more shading lines, and I might turn the pa the paper upside down, and maybe you know some flowers I like I I like to do the the shading, you know this way, you know there's no right or wrong. Make the product make the the equipment work which way you need it, right? Okay, and um, let's give this, carry on with our, our shading here. And this is just a quick, you know, thing. Um, come along here and give all of these a little bit of heavy shading up here. Maybe, you know, and they're, uh, you know, find um, 
once once you found something that you that's your topic of interest or your focal point that you like to draw that you're into whether it's florals animals people um, then you can find out where you want to put your shadows you know when you're looking at a flower typically where where the petals meet is going to be where there's more of a shadow you know so you'll take that into consideration as you're moving along right Okay. So that's our doodle flower. That's that's um, you know where where it starts out. And so really now it doesn't look like that that thing that we initially drew. We I'll use this dot um, or yeah oh, here I'll put it over here. You know that where we did just some basic teardrop ovals whatever you want to but you know whatever you want to call them. But this is what you know what we took it from right. Five petal flower of ovals or teardrops to a, a flower that's more detailed. Yes. Okay, Grandma will be right there, sweetie. His show is off, y'all. Okay, be right back. looks like a sun you're that you know that the, hey let's 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 do that right like you know it's okay we have our we have our center okay that's that's our center and um you might want your uh here you might want um to go around like uh but it has fatter flowers right so if I wanted that, I might go something like this. Okay, they look like leaves, um, but they're not gonna look like leaves once you're done um, shading them. And then you might have this leaf coming off of that one, and you might have this leaf coming off of this one, and then you get a little fancy with it, right? Um, you know, now I'm just really getting silly with it. But you can, I mean, do what makes you happy. What, you know, do the work and and just just have fun. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. This is a, a bad looking sun, right? And it doesn't look like much. But you can take that, this, this odd seven, eight petal thing and shade it. And, um, uh, yes, one second, Toast. What, uh, what's the matter, Pookie? What happened? Yes, the shading, you take it from simple to shaded. To now I can take that and take my I can take it to a more um, slower paced flower. Oh, scared me! I thought something was wrong. Oh my god! Hi, Grace. Grace is her cat. Grace talks to me all the time. You know, she likes to talk to us. So, um, but yeah. So I mean, that's just that's just it. Now. Let me get out, because this one, uh, the only unfortunate, unfortunate thing about this paper is that it's smooth on one side, which I don't really care for, um, and not on the other. Um, so, let's see, what do I, oh, you know, well, let me show you, oh, never mind, here, we'll just, I'll just, I'll just, do one of the ones I've, I've already done. So, okay. What pen am I using? This is my 38. 
Okay, and now let's see. She wanted side view. Yeah, she wanted to be included. Um, do you do you want it? Um, what what kind of flower are you are you thinking? Um, like a sunflower. So, like here, if you wanted like a sunflower from a side view, because sunflowers are you know they they grow on those tall stalks and a lot of them will twist and turn. Um, but if, if you wanted to take this flower um, and you wanted it more in the side view, okay. So let's actually my 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 uh, well I'll just do it. It's just easier if I do it. Um, so you, it's all in how you do that initial circle, right? Like this is the this is the the first. You know, we go from this one, which is very round, okay very round to an oval and what that's going to do is is when you look at a flower from a side view you're not getting you know you're getting that foreshortening that happens you know um whether you're getting it completely at the side and you're just seeing that the 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 um you know that that uh it becomes flat pretty much on this side and then you get that part that sticks out right so it's like a half moon really um is really the kind of shape you would you would think of it right and then you wouldn't see all the petals over here like you here you see the full range of the petals here you are probably only going to see like a, li a little bit of them so i would just let's just do this let's just do this Cause you're not seeing those because you're looking at it from this side right okay so and then once you get to this spot though you know you might see you know a couple petals coming forward you know and i'm just making some some weird petal shapes um but you're gonna see more of them coming out this way um and and keeping that that curve on the flower the the um middle part right and I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but I'm just I'm just making some shapes here to kind of fill it in. But that's what you're going to see. You're only seeing a little bit of the petals that are on the that are farthest from you, and you're seeing the dome of the the middle of the flower, um, the center, right? It kind of domes out then instead of being flat straight on you're getting that dome here and then you would draw your your petals to to come out from no. there and you'd, you'd see some here you'd see a couple, of the, a couple of these top ones here and probably a couple of these bottom ones in full down here let's say you know especially like if it's a sunflower that they've got um you know uh pointed pointed petals you know you might you're going to see more of this than this over here over there over there it's going to be foreshortened you're only going to see that little bit that comes out from that side because the rest are behind you it's, you know and then same like with my where did i put it same with here where did i put them hello shauna what is oh that's right it's over here let's talk let's talk about that with with these right and here's a good one so this flower here is pointing more up right so i started with an oval center instead of a round one here where it's flat straight on okay and this one you can see the full length of it and although because of this flower design you kind of see that but you don't here you see the stem here you don't because the flower is pointed up plus it's blocked by the leaf but it's pointed up and and you're not getting you don't see the full depth of that center because it and the shape is you would put the shape like i did more oval whereas in this one was more round because it was flat on i hope that makes sense and then we go. Need a um so let's see um and again, I'm no expert. I, this is only stuff I've learned as I went along or that I've, I've heard from others, um, you know. So uh, take it for what it is. 
um let's see let's let's draw this okay so we're going to talk basic shape now right so i'm starting with my my usual dot okay and i'm going to do the heart now this is probably really pretty really light because I'm, i always start out really light handed and then i'll go in more okay so we got a little bit of a heart shape right and um then um the, and this is I, i'm drawing a flower if you guys have if you guys don't know so this is going to be a flower this this heart and and, and this is going to be a sh uh, flower okay so and then um we're going to see a little bit of this Okay, I'm gonna come down. This is kind of heart shaped too. I'm giving it a little dip right there, right? But it's a heart. This one's straight on. This one is going to be curved. If, when I'm done with it, it's going to be curved. So see, I've got a heart that's straight on, and then I got one that's kind of straight on, but not fully, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, and I'm gonna come down and let's let me take off my glasses so I can see what I'm doing uh, um, okay and let's come in a little bit give it a little bit of a little bottom and then let's say I want to have um some some flow some uh interest put into this heart this flower right you know it, it started out as a heart but it's not going to be a heart time i'm done with it okay i'm drawing baby you want to come over here and watch yeah i want a chair well go get a chair and the table's right there um, no, no, no coffee. <laughs> you guys go to bed sometime tonight, silly boy. Go watch your show. Mm. Uh huh. Okay. Grandma's screaming. Thank you. Um. So and then let's see. Let's um. Let's. Let's put the same down there. Can you move this? And all in how you put your lines kind of will dictate um, where where that where you know how something is shaped, right? Because uh, you know it's not. At the end of the day, everything we draw is flat, yeah, right? I'm, but it's how you add the detail, oh, uh, and how you, how you put a curve, or if it's somebody's face, how you do their nose, their their mouth. If you're doing an animal, how how you do their their paws and their ears, um, whether it's you know some a, a dog that's on guard their ears are going to be straight up and straight at you right but a, a dog that's more laid down mellow just sitting there their eyes their ears are going to be flapping down so that's another thing you know that you'll you'll take into consideration um, okay. as you're drawing whatever it is that you like to draw and this is a completely made up flower right because you know i don't think any that's flowers really look like cake. this um at least that i know cake. It's so okay. beautiful. Thank you. Um, and then I'll probably turn this. Oh, and I'm going to give it some shading this now. Is a Just a little bit to start out. I'm not going in really heavy. Um, one little bit there okay happy you guys have to be quiet I'm not gonna tell you again you understand okay. thank you okay and then um, where these lines these shade lines I came in at a at a 
kind of C curved angle. This heart, because it's the middle petal, and you know, I'm going to be more straight with those lines. And then the, the side ones, uh, the side shading that comes up to the left is going to curve to the right. And these ones that are be on this side will curve um, from the right to the left. Fantastic. Okay. So then, now I'm going to start bringing in some more heavier lines, some more detail work as I move along. And again, this side, uh, because I'm right handed, I have to turn the paper a certain way. And whereas these kind of came up and turned, again, you're going to go, you're going to curve in a C the opposite way, right? Because I want the, the petal to go from flat to curved. And again, I taught flowers because that's what I like to draw. Um, but maybe you like to draw birds or people or, you know. I can't stress enough that it's 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 about the process um, and not the end result. And I may not like this at the end of the day, but the point is, is I, I, I did it. I took the time to sit down and said, okay, what can I, what, you know, what can I learn from this or do I like it? shading now I'm going to come in a little bit darker and this is with my 28 now I'm going to switch to my 38 and come in darker yet but I'm not gonna I don't I like to leave some of my lighter uh, striation or shading lines because it adds depth like at the bottom of the flower it's going to be the darkest right so I put my light lines in and then I'll come in and that's how you're going to get your shadow, your shading, is by knowing where your... Guys! OMG, you guys are not behaving. Not making Grandma happy right now. I'm trying to be patient, but you're not... No, you're not... You're not... You're not minding Grandma. Okay. So, um... I'll keep some of those lighter lines as it came out from the bottom of the flower, but I'm going to... Christopher! Can you come get them, please? Yeah. I said... Alright, put it away. It's time to put it away. And no crying. Out. You said you were going to put it away. Um, Let's go. Okay. And then, now that I've got a little bit of shading in there, and I've, I'm coming in with some darker lines, I might be heavy on the petals on this side, or on the outside, and then. Thank you. You got, yeah, but grandma, when grandma tells you you're gonna behave and you're not behaving. I can make you come along. Yeah. Oh, going to bed. Okay, and then I might um. Maybe I want the tops to be darker than the rest of the flower, right? So I might bring in a little bit there. Thank you. 
I'm liking it. But, you know, it's, it's, um, it's just about the process. And another trick this is doing what I'm doing now, which is I'll go from one part of the flower um, or what I'm drawing to another part. Because I like to work on, um, I like to do other things too. Like I'll draw cityscapes. Um, those are fun to, to sketch and play around with. Um, and so if you're doing something that's very labored, intensive, and you know, in terms of drawing, you know, um, like if I'm doing one of my big drawings, uh, floral drawings, um, I might take a break from one spot of the flower and go to another spot. And again, this is just a quick sketch, so you know you're not gonna have anything. Um, I or I don't rather. I don't have anything perfect um, when I'm doing an initial sketch. So, and then if you know if this was a flower that you would you would you know we're not looking we're not seeing the rest of this flower because this is the front spot. If I wanted to, um, and, and I could take it from this spot because I am slightly tilted downwards I could put a cap back there to put in a center right you know but this could have been straight on too like you're not seeing that other side of the flower but if I wanted to take it and put something in the middle and then what you do is is you would kind of curve your back legs like that and then this one it's okay. it, it, you're just seeing that little bit Right, and I would then I would go in and I would, you know, but that's how you you, you got straight view. You've got a slight. I could take it either way. How you place your leaves and decide their shape. Um, that depends because I like to play around with you know I like again I like to play around with shapes. So some of my leaves are more flowy, you know, kind of. Kind of like you know the Mama. yeah baby oh uh, where, where's is sissy in there with you mm. melody what? come turn the show on for your brother um what was i gonna say oh leaves um you know, and then some are, are more like, uh, Mom, what is that? You know, you're doing two half moons, right? So this fall. is, this could be a leaf right here. Um, you know, and you'd come down. Um, but for me, what I found that I typically do, and I know some of it's by habit, is that if my flower is flowy in its, uh, you know, bud shape or whatever, then I do more abstractish, straighter line type leaves. Um, but if my flower is kind of abstract, because um, I don't always draw realistic, right? So if it's more, at, you know, funky looking and not so flowy, then I might make, you know, curvier leaves. Melody, close that door. Close the door. 
I don't know how much sugar you guys had today, but apparently too much. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Macy, move. Come here. Come lay down. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it just depends on the what I'm drawing. If it's something more on the realistic side or not. Depends on, you know, how I choose my leaves. I, you know, and then, you know, definitely if I'm doing realistic, I'm going to go for that more realistic shape. But I still put my own little quirk or spin on it. And then I think as far as like placements, um, that also can a lot of times depend on the type of flower because you have some flowers that'll have, you know, uh, they, they might have leaves up here, right? And then you might have other flowers where they don't have anything up there. Um, and so their, their leaves would only be on the, the stem, right? Close the door. Thank you. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I, I, placement really depends on the type of flower um, and shape kind of also depends on the shape of the flower. What do you have to say? What, what do you have to say? A, wi a whimsy? Whimsy? Whimsical flowers? Whimsical flowers and, and doodle flowers and anything non-realistic. I mean, you can do anything to make it a flower. Um, I mean, especially like you see in some of my sketchbooks that I showed you. I mean, I had some real whimsical, um, you know, whimsy type flowers, you know, I mean, yeah. Um, here's one. I actually like it, but it doesn't, re it's not any recognizable flower that I'm aware of. Um, you know, it, it goes, oh, goes this way, sorry. Um, you know, but it's, it's kind of whimsical. But I, I, I love how I designed the, the leaves and the, the bulb shape. And then how, you know, like, again, I always put that little thing at the end of my, my stems. You know, and I just got an S curve as the stem. You know, this one just comes up and around. Yeah, uh, whimsy. I mean, that and that's kind of where a lot of my doodles will start. Is they'll start out very just kind of sketchy or whimsical, and then I'll take them to be something. Like, where's that other thing? Here, over here. So this flower, which I haven't released yet. So you see here, I mean, I started playing around with, with different shapes, you know, um, get to get my center. And this isn't a real flower either, obviously. It's just, you know, uh, but, you know, I've got some funky little things. I like to do these spiral things too. That's like one of my things that you see a lot in my, my whimsical work, um, you know, it just really depends, you know, but a lot of times whimsical, you can go, you can do anything with, right? Oh, love those leaves. Look like it could be a po ponytail. This one, this one was, uh, yeah, this was the, okay, so wait a minute, where is, all right, so this is not the final drawing of that, but this was my favorite. Again, this was all done in one setting. Just me playing around with some different styles, you know, different. Th this is one flower, right? These big ones. And then these, this, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me find it. Here. Here's two. So here's kind of something like I was drawing just now, the 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 heart thing but this is a little bit softer this is and these this is how i get to my final drawing is i do these things you know, okay so like this you know um kind of is in that same vein there um but where am i oh, i know what i'm looking for let me find that
no, no. There's another thing that's, you know, kind of whimsical. Um, and all it is is, again, bigger teardrop, you know, sunflower-ish kind of petals. And then I did my funky little thing I like to do with the, the curlies in the center. And then I did my little spiral around it. Um, but that's not what I was looking for. Um, oh, here's more like what I was doing along the lines earlier. See the hearts? And then I made, I designed some flowers based on hearts. Hearts, that's, that's all they are. Um, this was the, this is the more straight head-on look. Whereas this one, kind of head-on, but when I, once you add that center, it really starts to make a full flower. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, that's, that's from the, my curly cues. <laughs> um you know uh but where is that thing that i'm looking for i will find it momentarily there's some more that on those uh, here's some simple uh, blossoms um here that's see why I said that flower is still in development because there's another uh, from the one from my sketchbooks here's my here's my peppermint flowers uh, that I took from a sketchbook and made it a full-blown uh, art um, ah so see here now more of my dice leaves I love those things. Um, so here, so this is what I want to show you. So I went from all of this, and this was back in like, I don't know, either March or April was when I started designing this, right? To here it's become a full design. So don't be afraid to put, it doesn't matter, like, uh, I would have never really showed this had I not done this class for you guys today, right? This would have just sat on my, in my, my shelf, on my bookshelf, in my sketchbooks, you know, but I'm not afraid to say, hey, I started out from this God knows whatever it was starting out to be to get to this version to now get to the more full version, right? So do the do the work don't be afraid to be sketchy and loose and free and fun um and again it doesn't matter the topic um as far as shading if you're using pen start light get yourself the smallest nib you can and these 28s are perfect for that because you you guys were barely seeing what i was drawing on paper um you can barely see those lines you know, unless I hold it way up here in your face. Um, but that's I, that's why I love drawing with, with thin pen dibs because I can go in. It, it does two things for me. I can go in and start light, work up to where I want to be, like with this one. You know, I had all of this going on. Excuse me. And then I, then I, 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 you know, and I did some of the light shading up here. But then once I start getting to the, you know, after I come in then with the bigger nib pen to really outline and detail a little bit, then I'll come back with that thin pen nib and I'll do the shading and stuff. And so, and then I just, I find a lot too that with shading, um, you know, pulling towards you um, is helpful. Some people, you, you may draw better like this, but I find a lot of times, not every time, depends on the flower and the shape and all that that we have a tendency to be better at shading pulling towards us um, because again you're using your whole arm this way uh, it's like painting with watercolor you never want to push the the water in the paint you want to you want you want to pull it for towards you right you want to you know you don't want to you don't want to push you want to you, you want to pull 
Oh, let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Robin. That's what you... Okay, so let's see what Robin did here. Let me... See? And you said you draw stick figures. Oh, she is so fitting. She is so fitting. Okay, so there's her first one. Okay. And then she is here. This is her more detailed one. It's got a little bit of the shading in there. She's got a little bit of whimsy and curve on it. Look, she um, look at those little stick those points in the back. She made the flower full, y'all. See? <laughs> awesome. See? You can do it. Anybody. And she told me that she does not know how to draw. So I everybody can learn how to draw. It's finding what works for you. The whether you're a book person or a video person or a picture person, uh, finding the right tools, um, find the right, you know, as far as paper and pens and pencils and all that stuff, you know. Um, oh, here's another version of that. So I, this, this was the first version, right? Because see, I was developing the on the ground. This is, this is, my plan for this is to be under the water, just so y'all know. Um, and so I wanted the, you know, I wanted the flower to have one that's on a stem, but also the flower needs to have some that are on the, the ground, like, you know, uh, you know, how a clamshell is on the ground. So that was my idea here. So I actually, I forgot I had the other page. Um, yeah. So, oh, and then that's how we get to, back to getting to this version. So th this is actually the progression, right? So you have the, the, the start, the initial concept, because no person that paints or draws um, can, I mean, some people are just, you know, they put the time in so they can just go and draw anything, you know, um, but they don't always start out that way. Um, yeah, but it's underwater. It's underwater. Um, so this was the first, and I love, I, I, I'm like, okay, I love it. I love it. Okay, I started dabbling with, you know, how I'm going to do the ground flower. Um, and so then I came up with, the, you know, this this is where it starts. It starts with the closed bud. Then it works its way, or here the bud, works its way to sprouting uh, uh, petals to a half-open version to a full version. And okay, so you got that progression of the flower there. And here's my other little funky, <laughs> my clamshell flower. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it just, you really can do anything you said, you know, it, if you learn how to, when you, you learn how to write your name, you can learn how to draw, you know, that's like with this one, let's do this one really quick. Um, okay, so I'm going to let you guys see my original, okay, oh, I stuck it there. Guys can't leave the dog in the room. Just not like it. Okay, pull it down. So let's get this distraction off. Okay. And again, I'm going to start with my my point. Okay. Which pen do I got? This is a 38. Uh, let's do. Go back to the 28. You'll see me switch pens now quite a bit with this one because there's detail work, there's shading, there's a little bit of everything in this one. Okay, I'm going to start with my my circle. Yeah, and then draw a diamond. Okay. And then we have several like pe petals. Looks like a lampshade to me. I think that's that's kind of it. Um, best way to describe it. And then um, let's, uh, let's see. I, uh, yeah, let's do it that way. We'll just. Okay. And then. Um, I think I want to, you know, let's do this. Okay. 
that's not as uh, hanged in. Let's do that one again. See? It's been a while since I've drawn it. But, can't remember. Now I know it had to have been um, this way. And then we came in with the lines. Hey. And right now they're just lines. That's all. Okay. And then we're going to bring in the bulb part a little bit heavier there. And um Let's see, uh, let's go up. And this. And I'm kind of deliberately uh, on my, I like to make them not perfect on my, I like them to be thin, but I don't like them to be perfect. I think, especially with florals, because um, nothing is perfect in nature. Um, so I tend to be kind of sketchy with my, the, the stem, no matter uh, the flower usually. And then, um, well, back to the 28. Come down, start giving it some shade. Her husband's playing along too. Oh, that's awesome. Hold up, and I'll show. I'll I'll show it in a second. I'll, I'll look at it and show it. Okay. So now I'm just now I'm bringing in that light shading that I did on the other flower, just a little bit of shading there. And again, I'm going with the curve um, of the of this petal thing. And I just kind of, especially when I'm doing the light shading, it's more of a, like a, a scratching. It's not really, you know, putting a line right it's not putting that line it's more pulling towards myself and doing that it, it's it's more of a uh, a scratching of the paper and that's another reason why i like working on the watercolor paper because it has that texture so it just it has yeah okay now i'm going to flip it because i'm right handed right and then you can you can come pull towards you or push uh, whichever whatever works for you and because I don't know if everything all my tips and tricks um, for that work for me will work for you you might try something I recommend and maybe it doesn't work and that's okay everybody has their own style right but you should always uh, I, I do find that when I when I pull instead of push I have a better better uh, time of it hi Mary Awesome. Let's see what hubby did. Okay. OMG, that's awesome. What's the hubby's name? I love it. See, anybody can doodle, y'all. Just saying. Okay. 
okay now let's give let's let's give the the flower which one am i on i'm gonna okay um and so now i'm just gonna put some little striations just at the bottom of the flower or the petal or whatever you want to call this i'll start crossing over some lines some little shade lines And you might not be able to see them, I don't know, yet. Uh-oh. Somebody's hubby is in trouble. <laughs> okay. And let's do the other side. And these perm pens come in three different sizes too, so they have, um, you know, you they're good for the shading. Probably a little dark on this one, but. myself because I can get that scratchy you know a little bit there not much this one I didn't shade at all on the bottom but uh, I've progressed since then um, so this one I'm going to shade a little bit from the bottom up now and with any kind of drawing you you totally um have creative license to do it your way what works for you have fun with it you know it doesn't have to be um, you know it's all what you want it to be you know put a line there put a dash there put a, a dot there right and then um, let's uh, yeah let's do this let's And then I gotta turn it again to do, you know, this side. So hi Steve. Thank you for being here with me and playing along. You are rocking it, man. Rocking it. And now I'm not being, where there's no additional lines in these uh, upper leaves, uh, these I'm, uh, so, uh, I'm double, double shaping or double backing or what, I'm just, I'm being loose with it so that I get, um, kind of give them more character. Because um, like I said, these didn't have double lines, but these, you know, leaves are not perfect, right? They're... They've got lines or, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, okay now I'm going to come in and so it doesn't look so outline me. Um, or if even if I, you know, depending on how bold you want your 
your lines to be you know this is just a doodle flower right now you know right so I want the lines where here I didn't I didn't give that extra texture and design here I am I'm give I made my lines more blunt and full and now I'm just coming in with a little bit more shading just at the top or just at the darkest darkest spot right of, of the shading area I'm choosing to do that because I I don't want it to be so um, I want it to have a little more character a little more hair hair in the chin right And a lot of times, you know, what you do on one side, you need to do on the other side, right? So, um, then I made the bottom. Let's make, let's give the bottom a little bit more. Make sure I'm still on screen. Not checking that. I hope I've been on screen the whole time. I mean, for you guys can see things. That was my 28, right? Yeah. Let's see. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Stop it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, okay, so. I'll have to pull out one of my cityscapes so you guys can see the some of the sketches I've done there. I'll do those have been on full journal pages okay so there we are so it has a little bit more character and a little bit you know of course this was also done in sepia and this is done in black so there's oh there are just already going to be that difference but see i kind of curved the flower i made the the more stem more curvy so it's it, it looks more natural not that it's a real flower at all but this this i love this but this even looks more free to me. Um, oh, we should make, I should make this, I do like that part. We should make that a, a bigger bulb at the top. And then, yeah, I'm going to call this flower lampshade. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so just adding that extra little bit on the bulb area just totally gave it a, you know, a little bit more oomph, 
right? So let me get one of my journal books and we can uh, look at one of my cityscapes. Um, now we're getting into the mixed media type thing. Let's see. And I have other journal books too, but um, this one will have, this has my skitty. So the, here, here's a, here's a good one, you know, uh, or the, this was just, this is just strips of paper, right? But then I did some shading, some fancy, li you know, line work, some doodling, and now it's, now it's a city. Okay, so this i mean this is not really drawing this is sketchy scratchy lines on, on on this these pieces of paper but it's turned into something so um here's another one you know you can be as elaborate as you want and sometimes just doing simple things especially if you're doing mixed media work um can make it into something again all these were just strips of paper um that I just did some line work on. Not that one. That one's got awful. Um, where's, I have one more. I know I had one more. Oh, but you know what? It was done on a bag. Um, yeah, the other one was done on a bag. I did a, I did a New York bag. Um, uh, and that's on my, my Facebook page, Muse and Art Facebook page. You'll see all the art I've, I've shared and, and done. Um, yeah. Angry Sunburst with Starbeam Deal. <laughs> That's the, hey, that works. Let's see what, um, did you send, did you uh, tag, uh, send me a picture yet or no? Or do you not want to share? That's fine too. If you don't want to share with the, the class, the rest of the class, then you don't have to. And you all are getting A's today. I'm so proud of each of you. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's it. You know, you can be realistic. You can be fun and, and, and whimsical and, you know, take it to the table. Take it to the max. Have fun with it. It's about the process. It's not what it looks like because you guys have seen some of my ugly nonsense, you know, and all my, you know, I don't like the shape scratching it out <laughs> and going right along, you know. I mean, like here, I didn't like the where this one was heading shape-wise, um, and I just scratch it up and go on, you know, and if, if it's if really don't if you really don't like it throw it out and get a different page um the the oh you want to see, see that one this one is like the simplest where is it hello i'll do this one because this one's not doesn't take too long okay um, so I'm not going to have enough room on that page. Let's do it over here. Um, it's 28. Okay. So, <clears throat> when you're doing um, something that... Um, your picture to load oh you haven't sent the picture yet you just seen that okay okay the picture has a oh there it goes oh see it's not bad stop it you all are um what was i gonna say oh Sometimes, well, I guess a lot of times, I would think a lot of times and whatever, it depends on what you're drawing again. Um, this only has 
let's see, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, this, this uh, has twelve lines coming down, but if you look at it, because the way you do things that are hiding behind uh, other things, there's more, this looks like it has more strings attached to that top, right, to this part. But they're hidden, or, or, or you, you know, I drew these ones separate from these ones, but because of the way you, things are in, in real life and in nature, you, you get a lot of, sometimes you don't need to draw every particular thing. Your brain uh, will fill in the rest, right? What I, I don't, I, did, I didn't draw all those lines, but my eyes, your brain, my brain is filling in the rest. And these strings that are in the back, not in the front, show like there's all of them there, right? And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an oval. Okay, I'm just doing an oval shape. Simple shapes. Okay, now that looks, looks like a flat oval. No kind of funness to that, right? So then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start with my, this is those one rare circumstances where I don't start with the dot, okay? You're doing it with me too? Oh, I love it. Okay, so um, I'm starting with the dot. So let me bring in the reference picture so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? So I'm, gonna st I'm starting up here. Okay, and I'm going to come around, and again, this is just circles, really. Okay, and I'm in with another dot. Okay, and you can make this as fancy. You know, I was, I was, you know, I had I was smaller. It was less fancy than I have now. Okay, so then we're going to, um, I'm going to first draw my lines to this part of the rim. Let's call this a rim here, this, this oval looking thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take lines and I'm just gonna come like that. Okay. here. I don't know how many this is. Okay. So that's the first part. We have some lines. We have an S thing, a couple dots, and an oval. All right. Then what we're going to do is, is I'm going to then um, draw one. Let's draw this one here. This one here. And I'm not, I'm just kind of half ass in this room. Well, I'm going to get my thicker nib, one of my thicker nib pens, not the old one, just the old three. Okay. And then we're going to start making our, our oval become the rim. Okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit heavier. In this case, once I put the initial lay down, then I come back because this is metal, right? We gotta, this is a bird cage or wind chime or whatever you want to call it, but this it's not gonna be scratchy. So you even up your lines, shade them in a little bit, make them heavier. Oops, Yeep. Okay, well now I gotta make it a lot heavier. is okay. okay. It actually made it better anyway. So sometimes, happy accident. Happy accident. Okay. Alright. So now we're starting to look 
resembles something that this looks like, right? And so then I'm going to go to my other pen, which is the O1. Now let's start. Sh let's start making this be more. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my circle. Okay. And then what I I love I love doing these things on my any kind of curves. But if you don't <clears throat> like that and you want to just keep it a straight line, you you know a, a single line, then you do that. I like having character, especially when I'm doing something like this, which is supposed to imitate metal, I will do this on. And this is just, this is purely um, like a creative licensing. This has, this is, I mean, you know, this is purely creative license. And then again, when I get down here, I'm using creative license and I'm making this look like that. Give it some character, some curves, like us women. We are awesome and we have curves. Okay, then I'll come around. I'm just straightening up my lines how I see them, how I want to see them, right? Okay. And again, and again. And that's just because that's what I like. That's just my one of my little my little things. Okay. So already we're starting to see this come to life now, just by some some single lines, coloring them in a little bit um, to make them be more. Shading and detail work is where everything will come together. And maybe your, maybe your initial shading or your initial detail work is not correct, but it doesn't matter. It's the point of, it's it's working the process. Okay. All right. So then, let's see. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So automatically, it's starting to look like it's something that's, you know, hanging up a metal cage or something, right? And then I'm going to make this one even heavier. And really, this could have been, um, this This is more like it's, um, you're, th th it could have been even a tighter oval. See, this is more like hanging down straight, where this one is kind of tilted a little bit because my oval is much rounder, right? So there, there is one difference already, is that it's not straight down with this one. This one's straight down. This one's more kind of like the, the cage is tilting up, right? Um, so every curve, every line you make, makes something look different, right? And then what I did was, again, I just did the same thing Let's I'm gonna get out my thin nib pen because that's what I like to use. And so what you know, I would just I just did this. Um, actually, I think I, I, I like to start with um, the curves typically. So what I would do on this is, is um, I would come uh, put my little dot, right? And then I would until I was happy with the spiral and come up, right? Then I go back to my shading pens again. And I make I make everything heavier. 
And this is why, you know, and if you're not, if, if you're using, if you're doing this in pencil, you would just put heavier, make your, your lines heavier with the pencil. There's really no particular change um, in that regard. Um, graphite's much softer and I think probably maybe more beginner friendly. I don't know. Um, but another thing as far as like beginners, why, you know, pen might be a good way because it doesn't allow you to erase. It lets, you know, you can't erase that, right? So, you know, be proud of what you do regardless of what it looks like. Because you know what? Hey, today I drew that, you know. So something like that. And so that's what I did. I just, I did each, each um, thing same way and varying the, the height. So it looks like, you know, uh, it's the shortest up here, right? And then we come around and we come down. Um, my missing, who's leaving? Okay, Jude. Love ya. She's probably already gone. Um, but I mean, so that's, you know, I took the simple lines and I made them something. You don't have fancy pens. And, and I don't, re I, I recommend, like I said, I recommend a couple sketching. If you're going to do things in pen, if, you know, maybe you want to start out with pencil because you can erase. But I, I find that I'm, I'm more determined to do more if I can't erase it. What time she starts. Oh, normally if I stream on the weekdays, uh, if you've talked about me, I, I think, um, I normally start at 4.30 if I stream on a weekday. Um, my normal, no matter what, will uh, streams are on Saturdays at 12.30 Central Standard Time in the afternoon. Um, yeah, but I, I work a full-time regular job during the, during the day, during the week. So I can't start until 4.30. Um, and I used to stream every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, but then things got crazy. And uh, I, I've been working on projects. So, oh, Galena, are you still here, love? Do you want you want you guys want a sneak peek of the, 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 the um, envelope journal I'm working on? My journal kit, rather? I meant to show it earlier and I forgot. And again, these are using my own papers. So, um, and these are in my shop. So th this is uh, one of the pages from the kit, from the digital. Um, so on these flowers, I, you know, I just, I, some simple shapes. I worked them out, worked out the shading, painted them, and there you go. Um, but this is what, I don't know if she's still here. I have to tell her, hey, you got to go back and look at the video. This is just a quick sneak peek because everything's not in here and it's not done. But this is a, a quick sneak peek at the newest uh, journal I'm working on with my own papers. And that size, I haven't, I haven't uh, capped that side yet. But lots, there's, and there's lots of things that are going in there. <laughs> this is only a portion of it. Stuff. There's going to be stickers and all kinds of things in this one. <laughs> yeah, Chris is here. She's fighting Galena over this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, it's not done yet. Oh, these can't go in here yet. I got I got Lots of, lots of stuff, lots of goodies on the extra goodies. I, so what I'm doing is, is, um, I do my digitals and then I do add on kits, which. Oh, thank you, Chris. Yeah. I'm, I, hi, Patty. Um, I'm, I'm glad you, you like it. Um, yeah, this one, this one, I probably won't have the, I, I can't do, it was hard doing the cardboard 
die cuts because of my hands because of the RA. So I have to hold on off on chipboard die cuts uh, uh, stickers um, like I did in that first kit. Um, I'm doing regular stickers, but not the chipboard die cut until I get a, a, a Cricut. Uh, or, yeah, a Cricut to do my own stickers. Because right now I have to print them and then cut them down, right? So uh, for the kits. Um, and what the kits do is you get extra goodies and all kinds of extra. And this whole thing can either be, all my kits are, you can take them apart naturally if you want and put them different places in your journal or you can stick this whole thing in a journal that you're working he the love my name is shauna just like my channel you can come see me anytime um like i guess i do i do uh, pop-ups on on weekdays like now when when um uh, robin asked me to do a class and you know during the week i i can but it can't be it's not until after 4:30. um so, and I'm going to be working in um, more win more Wednesdays probably uh, uh, now that the, the, the big release um, is completed. Um, the next release I'm hoping to finish. I'll give you guys, where's my, oh, you guys seen the, the, the drawings, the two um, images. And I'm thinking about putting one more image um, in, that, um, in that next release. And like I said, it's going to be completely different than the four I just released. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Robin's got a, uh, in her Facebook, and I'm not sure if it's too late to join, but Robin has uh, a, a um, journal swap uh, thing that's going to be taking place, that she's going to be uh, patching uh, partners up on the 10th or the 11th. Um, so I'll be making another one, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to use the purple, red, blue, uh, I, there's a couple kits I haven't worked with yet of my own paper, so I'll probably do one of the, the new ones. Um, so that, I've got that this month, um, the release this month, I, I'm, uh, more tutorials or not tutorials, I, I don't never call my stuff tutorials, more shares, um, I, I'm bringing back the watercolor and doodling um, sh uh, videos, um, yeah, and then we've got bags to make. How many years were you when you were going to be a drawing artist? Um, well, I have been a mixed media artist for, and I, I really didn't call myself an artist for the first like five years, <laughs> four, no, four years. Um, it's only recently, about three years ago, that I actually started calling or using the word artist. Um, but, you know, somebody once said that if you make art, then you are an artist. Um, but so I started my mixed media journey in 20, 2014. Yeah, so it's been, it's going to, it's seven years. Um, but before that, it always been crafty. I did the whole scrapbooking thing for years. Um, it, not too late in the 10th. Okay. So yeah, if you guys, those that joined the uh, Facebook group, um, if, if you want to join, look under the, the, um, what is it called? It's not the announcements. It's uh, something else, right? Um, there's a swap that's going to be happening. And if you want to get in on it and make a, a, a envelope journal pocket swappy thing um, and, and be part of the the part, you know, part of that this month. Uh, she's doing the, the partnering up on uh, the 10th. Um, that's where I was going with that. So, um, but yeah, back to the, back to your question. So I, you know, as a kid, I always did arts and crafts, right? Um, even through my, my teenage years. Um, but I never really drew, you know, a and then, uh, I did the whole scrapbooking thing. And then when I became a mixed media artist for the first few years, you know, I, I didn't know how to draw. I didn't know how to do nothing. Um, and then I dabbled a little bit. Like I said, a couple years ago, and you'll see it on my channel, I did uh, uh, an octopus a couple years ago. Uh, I've done some flowers a, a little bit on screen. But, and that's another thing, too. I was shy to draw on, on camera because I was like, oh, I can't. My drawings look like crap, you know? Uh, nobody wants to see this. Um, and I, but, 
you you got to get over that. You get you got to you know. And I'm, I'm not, by all means, I can't draw everything, most everything. Um, what was that? Something break? No. Oh, okay. Carry on then. Um. Uh, but yeah, and, and, and like I said, after after I got over that and said, decided that, you know, I, I needed to grow. As artists, we want to grow and we want to learn. At least most of us do. Um, shh, it's okay. Um, so I set out to do that because I want to be able to draw my own. I don't want to have to always refer to a reference, you know, photo uh, or use a reference photo. Macy was opening. No, sissy. Okay, uh, go. Uh, Christopher. Yeah. He, your son's into the peanut butter jar and everything. Come, oh. deal with this. <laughs> Daddy to the rescue. Um. So yeah. Long story short, I've been an artist for seven years officially, I guess. Um. But I didn't always call myself an artist a bit, and it wasn't. Until a couple years ago that I decided I wanted to, to learn how to draw. I wanted to get better at it. And I made it happen. So you only started drawing seven years ago? No, no. I've only been drawing truly in this fashion, in this continue, you know, in this, in this in-depth fashion for a year. I, I said in December of 2019, um, because I had been wanting to, for a couple of years, get better at drawing, grow as in, in drawing and, and grow in, in my work, right? But I knew I couldn't do that in, in, until I started to take the time to learn how to draw. But I, I didn't start that until 2020. It was in December 2019 that I said, you know what? Next year, that's going to be my goal. I set the goal and I did it. I started it like it was around... Um, February or March. Bye, Chris. Thanks, Han. See you later. Same. What is it? Or that's great. And that was. What? <laughs> um. Well, you know, like I said, I, I I don't necessarily say that I'll be doing tutorials, but what I will do is I will share with you. I share with everybody. I'm, I, I'm not um, a professional, so I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm experienced to teach. And that's why I told Robin that I hesitate, hesitated calling this a class. Uh, it was more of a share, more of me giving tips and, and tricks and kind of giving you guys a little bit to, to fiddle with uh, on screen with me that I was going to be, you know, I was going to make this fun. If anything, it was going to be fun and informative, you know. Um, but I don't know everything and I don't know if I, if, if every terminology that I'm using is correct and everything that I'm teaching you is the correct way. It's not, this isn't really a teaching class. This is more of a share. Um, and so, in that same vein, I will be doing my watercolor and doodling videos again. And you know what? Doing that 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 fun doodle work that you know this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff. That, that you know, some sometimes my my watercolor and doodle will be very similar to this. Sometimes it's going to be. Uh, more elaborate, you know. So you might learn something. Yeah, you, you got you either. You know, some people have have they they set goals related based on their word of the year. Um, you know, but whatever you you do, whatever you want to work on, do it. Now is the time. Don't wait for tomorrow. Just do it and have fun and enjoy the process doesn't matter what it looks like you know a, a circle isn't always the same circle every time you draw it you know
I'm glad. I'm glad. You can. Um, I, I have. Um, but I typically in my mixed media, I, I don't really measure anything. I, when I'm making the junk journal kits, um, I, I use rulers and stuff. But really, that's the only time. When I do my journal pages like I showed you guys with the cityscapes, I don't, I don't measure anything. I, I rip paper and I collage and I throw paint and I, I do stencil work and you know all of that. But I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't do. I, the only drawing really that has come into my tr my mixed media art journal pages and, and paintings have been the cityscapes that I've been doing. Um, some flowers, um, but most of my flower and drawing work is centered around watercolor rather than any other medium. <laughs> My God, those kids. Oh. Thank God, bedtime is like in 20 minutes. They have been crazy today. How are you, my Gila girl? How's California? How's my girl from Cali? Some stuff and see what you think. I will help you. Uh, I or I will comment or I will give feedback. Um, but again, remember, I'm not a professional. I'm not um, experienced enough to say, well, this shadow go should go here and that shadow should do. I, you know. But I, I, I like anything anybody does, just pure and simple, because they did it. They created it, right? Creativity is a beautiful thing. Um, but if you want opinion or if you want feedback. Sure, absolutely. Here's my little spirals that you liked on the the bird cage. <laughs> That's any consolation. See, we went from a doodle to a drawing. Aw, yay! I know. I was wondering. Like, wow, what is she doing here? What happened? <laughs> no, seriously though, and no, I was I was I was happy to see that you popped in. Yeah, and he, and it's all Gila's fault, by the way. So y'all, so those are now that um, I draw with a dip pen. Yep, yep, it's all her fault. She's the one that got me the pen set. <laughs> it's all her fault. I don't know what I did with my other rubber band, but. Oh yeah, that's right. I got another another couple entries. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, whatever you guys did today, or whatever, even if you do other stuff, and you want to share that. Um, I'm I'm doing a giveaway where um, all you have to do is do something creative, whether it's from it could be small as as a, as a doodle, a, a card, you know, a greeting card, or a journal, or a page, or whatever. Uh, junk journal. I mean, you can make it as big or as small or as elaborate as you want it to be. Um, post it on my Facebook or Instagram. Tag me um, and and uh, be a subscriber to my channel. Um, and be a subscriber or like my Facebook and Instagram. One of the two. There's a post on my Facebook about all this. Um, and uh, you, it's free to enter. It's open international, um, and we'll be doing a giveaway. Um, it, it, you guys have the picture posted by Friday to be entered, um, but it has to be something that you did this year. 
like I said, it could be something. It doesn't matter what it is. There's no rules to what you can post for. But it has to be just something you did this year. Okay, this doesn't, this is paint. Oh, this is, I'm mixing these up now. Genius. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it sure is, I sure do like it. Let's see. Okay, one, uh, no, yes, one, Celine, and here in chat, she sent a photo. Let's see what she's got. See, you did along the lines of um, our girl there, our uh, uh, Joanne Sharp. What? Go ask Daddy, have you help, help you, okay, baby? Um, she did some letter doodlings. Is it going to pop? Come on, get bigger for me. Hello? Okay, so she did her name with some doodling. Yep, yep. Um, she, yep. This is kind of along, yeah, this is just whimsical doodling or, you know, you can even, you know what, another thing, a good thing to practice maybe, if you, if you like to do that kind of repetitive thing, um, it'll be good for you to get your hand going is um zen tangles you know was mentioned in, in, in earlier in the stream doing zen tangles will give you that um that um uh, learning um so she did, oh here she did she did the yep there you go i guess maybe i should i should uh work my um uh, my uh birdcage into the next release people might like that no. Why do I feel like this is not this is not sorted right? It probably isn't, but that's okay. Oh, here. That that is a good example of something that oh not these. Oh, this one. This was drawn with a dip pen and then watercolored. So even this is a simple drawing. Couple Teardrop shape leaves, and you're good to go. That's it. Yeah, okay. But yeah, the, there's two there's two prizes with the giveaway. Like I said, it just has to be something you created this year. Um, there's two prizes. Uh, one is is worth over seventy five dollars uh, retail value. Love, love, I love, love, love you, my friend. She's the one that got me started with dip pen, and I love her for it. Yep. What, baby? Yeah, you're going to be going to bed soon, kid. So thank you for those that drew along with me. We have uh, Steve, is that his name? I'm sorry if, if I forgot your name because, you know, it's been like an hour. Uh, the hubby, we'll call him the hubby because, yeah. And Juan and let's see, who else uh, played along? Um, Robin played along. Oh, and um, Chris was playing along. So thank you all those that played along with me today. It's good practice. Uh, what's what's beautiful? Oh, Juan's drawings, right? She did fantastic. Oh, this got this. Um, where is my other? Okay, that needs to go there. Uh, no. Oh, here's my other book. No, I think it's awesome. And you're giving it a try. You know what? Just keep drawing those lines that you don't like today. Make them. Show them who's boss. You are the boss of your sketch pad, paper, journal, whatever. You are the boss of your art. So I hope, um, Robin, I hope you... Uh, that this was beneficial to everybody and get some good feedback. Um, let me know or if anybody has any questions or whatnot. Um, and if you guys have anything right now, really quick before I let you go, 
Um, I'll be happy to answer those for you. No, I did not go through all my journals. <laughs> that would have that would have taken a stream on its own. Remember, we tried that once. <laughs> um, no, I did not go through all my journals. But I showed them my uh, my journal pages where I did the cityscapes on them. I showed you know I showed them a little bit of everything in, in terms of drawing. I showed them the books and I gave them references and you know uh, there's some stuff in the description box. Um, you know like. Uh, rep, I did put the channel. I know I did. I put the names of uh, the you know five people I mostly recommend in terms of drawing. You got Dee Dee Willingham, uh, CC's cre or Creation CC, um, Janet Young, uh, Kathy Arbor. Uh, I think there's five. Um, but yeah, so or hit me up on social media. My email's in the description box below, and all my links. So if you have any questions or, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, I can try to answer it, you know, do my best to answer you. Or and if I don't know the answer, I know a lot of people in our, in our community, um, and I can get the answer for you. So don't be afraid to reach out and, um, you know, we're, we're in this together. No, not every day. Um, if it if I do stream uh, during the week, it'll be on Wednesdays, and usually I start at four thirty, uh, uh, which is five thirty Eastern. And then on Saturdays, I I always stream on Saturdays ninety nine percent of the time, and it's always um, at twelve thirty Central. 1.30 Eastern. Uh, and if you subscribe, I always post um, uh, like uh, either a, a days or at least a couple, you know, like a couple hours or, you know, half hour before I'm going to go live. Um, and so if you're subscribing, you hit that little bell um, next to my name and you select um, all notices, then you'll get a notice every time I go live. Another photo coming in. I love these. <laughs> I love these photos. I'm loving it. Where'd it go? Oh, no. We see. Oh, here. Here's the the full view of everything that she drew. Cause it is all on one paper, but it's all full, full view. Here we go. Let's turn on her names. Oops. There's the doodles. There's the little S. Oops. On this side. With for the the bird cage. That's awesome. Now what you need to do is get out, whether you like paint or colored pencils or whatever, and color all those babies in and then put it up on the wall. Yes, full piece is awesome. And then this was Robin's and her, well this, okay, so the first one is Robin's. That was her, her, her oops, stupid light. That was her first sketch, right? And then... With sh with shading, okay, and then her husband he did a, a a front face facing flower, so he played along too. That was awesome. Love it, love it, I love it. Let's see, yeah. So, 
but I am going to get off here now as I've been uh, chatting you guys up for three and a half hours well most of you anyway um, again contact me on social media follow me on Pinterest Instagram Facebook hi Leticia right or Leticia which which, which way is it uh, and Robin, you can join Robin's Facebook group too if if you um, if you care if you if you desire. It's uh, unique uh, uniquely Robin's and friends. Good, I'm glad. And stay tuned for more videos because I will be doing short videos where I work in in and I kind of do this kind of stuff. So you will see some drawing and some watercolor. And, you know, maybe you don't like the watercolor, but maybe uh, you'll, you know, the drawing will, you know, be helpful for you. Leticia, see? I can't. Okay. <laughs> some people, it's one way and some people, Leticia, okay. Yeah, we have some new friends among us, Hila. It's awesome. So I'm, I'm ha and I know so I, I had a big cr crowd at one time, and I, I guess I should have said it then. But thank you all for coming and spending some time with me. I hope that it was, at least, if, if anything, entertaining, if not <laughs> educational and beneficial. Uh, <laughs> uh, at least it was entertaining, um, or maybe it was neither. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. And, and those from Robin's group coming along. Um, and uh, spending the day with me and um, yeah love to my mods and all of you uh, hugs and loves everyone and I will see you guys let's see I got to finish the book tomorrow so I will probably I'm looking I'm hoping to put a video up on Friday night uh, of watercolor and doodle um, we'll see how that works out um, if anything, I'll see you guys on Saturday, 1230 Central, 130 Eastern. You all have a great evening or a great day if it's Thursday for you already. And, um, you know, stay happy, healthy, and stay artsy, my friends. I will see you guys later.